Uh... Hello, everyone, and oh. welcome to this episode what? of Dummies and Dice. I wanted to be a wrestling commentator for this. So, uh, I'm so tired. This uh, is, I, I got an Amazon Prime ad on your uh, Twitch channel, by the way. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm tired. Oh, you know, crap, that actually tired that me out. That scared me a little bit. That and I thought to myself me. immediately after, how do I slap the shit out of the comment to make him shut up? Like, as right. soon as he said, hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, and I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, that actually made me tired. You lot do the rest. I'm going to lie down. Comment, you know from the dumb night. Oh, shit. Did I leave you guys on that screen? Film shit. jump scaring you. did. You've just done uh -oh. it yourself. You have recorded proof that you can jump scare me now. Whee! Welcome, everyone, Yay. to this episode <laughs> of Dummies and Dice. Uh, today you is. You don't need to do the intro again. We've already had an intro. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Done by me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you tired yourself out. Oh, take it easy. You don't want to strain your vocal cords, Comet. <laughs> I feel like there's some sarcasm, but I'm just going to take it at face value and say thank you. There's a lot of I miss Boris. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. But, anyways, uh, I don't remember how we do the intros because. I, I've had a stressful day today. Dude, do, do, I... do, do we actually have any way we do the intros? Also, no. apologies for being slightly late. Uh, it, it's a norm. At, well, slightly late. 40 minutes. It's a... That, that one's on me. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's all good. Honest, it's what's a... the point in having a set time? Uh, it's more... We it's aim more... for it. I'm. It's more or less we aim for it, and it's more or less a thing of, hey, this is when we should be doing I... it, but we probably won't. We're a little late. But, um... I literally Automate, thought, sorry. due to traffic, that, oh, I'm going to be late. I was going to text you guys, hey, start the session without me, just in case. But okay. that wasn't the case, because as soon as I got to a certain area, I hopped on the service road, and I took back roads, and I was speeding a bit. But Ninja, so you're on the internet. You can't admit to that stuff. Jab, damn it. No, it's literally, I mean, I it's literally against the law to be on your phone person. here or any tablet device. Same. I got the same Google Prime app. Google Prime? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Well done. But anyways, yeah. I was a, yeah. I was being a safe driver. Also, remind me, if I go to a different country, and it's a big city, don't let me drive, because I... I dude, literally, I'm almost out of Altoids because of how nervous I was. Oh god, it's okay. Driving sounds scary. <laughs> I should probably first. open up, like... A shit ton of other pages which I need open. Yes. Do we have an? Uh, do we have a? Uh, do we have a like an intro for you to bring us in with today, sub? No, I thought I would just. Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> There's only been like one time where I made it up on the spot. Because you lost it. Oh. No, because I wrote like a line and I was like, "Fuck it, I can improv this." <laughs> I wonder if you guys can remember which one. God damn it! When I don't need the no. Movie. Um, I'm sure okay. I actually wrote uh, that. Was I after here? After the day I've had, and the scares I've had, I don't remember what the fuck happened. All I remember is there's a, there's a ghost. Was it? Anyway. Was it like session 12? No, no it, was it, was, it was below the teens. Yeah, it was that way earlier than that. Yeah, it was below the teens. It was like session 6 but, or something. But 12 is technically below the teens. Seven, it was we... below double digits. Smarty pants. We're an episode yes, nine, it was session, session five. five. There you go. Anyway, yes, I do have an intro. I shall commence. Mm -hmm. We will join our friends the circus after them having split into two. The sorceress has seemingly picked up a new friend and only she can see. A shadowy ghost who decided to go with the name Dayron for now. One of these uh, people is substantially more thrilled at the idea than the other of being new pals. <laughs> Our other section has just had an interesting time, having met a apparent diviner on the road leading into Mapletide, a certain tiefling decided to seek out their services, paying a hefty sum for the old gnome to search for her old friend. One now heads to the stables, where they left their horses, Apparently a shady stables. I have no idea what they're talking about. Whilst the others set off towards the western docks. Apparently our scene's friend is actually in the same city as them. 
what will happen if they meet? Will Agnes have to suffer small talk with a ghost? Will they bother to follow up on any actual plot hooks? Find out maybe this session and possibly more. <laughs> Make your plot hooks more fun. I, I feel like ballsy. that was a jab at us. I don't know it's why. A, a very big jab at us. Of course it is. It's Nate. Nate's made plenty of jabs at me for missing all the hints at my friend. Oh no! I wouldn't do a thing like that. I wonder. I wonder. Oh look, no. if the dead body is one of I those hints. Friends. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Did you make them a murderer now? <laughs> Actually, that wouldn't, that, that wouldn't surprise me if they were. <laughs> murderer. <laughs> Hungry. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> anyway. But you're saying anyway. nothing, but you're saying <laughs> everything. I'm saying nothing, which speaks volumes. Yes. Also, wait, before we actually start, I know this is will be dated, but it's a Monday. Today is now Thursday. Today is the ghost birthday, so happy birthday. Yep. Happy Woo! birthday! Happy, happy birthday to you. Yeah. As a present, happy Agnes birthday. shall avoid maybe dying, possibly. <laughs> and you guys just my birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, Popes, when was your birthday? I didn't know it. I'm sorry. The 14th of June. I'm sorry. I didn't happy know Happy late it. birthday. I'm sorry. Yeah, happy late birthday. Hey, I thought I said oh, it at like the end of the session and everyone said yeah, happy birthday. We did. No? Yeah, we did. We, did. Wait, did we? we didn't have a session then. Yes, we did. 14th of June. Well, we happy very... Uh, January, no. February, March, April, May, June. Wait, yeah, wait, session 20. Uh, Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, sorry. I... What is the Alice in Wonderland <laughs> birthday? Merry unbirthday? I, I think I that's what it was. I don't... Did I write it in my ah, screw it. My, my memory isn't going to... I'm isn't not... going to remember. Oh, cool. Alright. <sighs> Anyways. It's d and So where mm. are we right now? Uh, well, to... you've all made... Okay, so Agnes has made her way out of the city with a shadowy figure only she can see following her to the apparently shady horse stable people. Ah, uh, yeah, and then we're chasing after us and you... who's chasing after someone else or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. who I apparently having been told <laughs> that someone's gone, uh, that this mm -hmm. certain someone she asked to find is in the city yeah. Uh, Western Docks sort yeah. of area. She is now hurrying towards Oh, I am. Night Eyes has gone ahead of me. I've asked him to search. Um, There's also apparently a stray dog in the street barking. Just, I'm just like, Night Eyes, please. You know what this person looks like. I was like, like not you, can, you, can, you can find her. You can find her. And then no, I'm just going. We've just... lost a ghost. No. I'm not running, though. I'm like speed walking because I don't want to draw attention to myself and my friend. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, so I'm sort of trying to keep up behind. I'm going straight oh. to the docks and then keeping an eye out for Night Eyes, who I'm hoping has spotted her. Well, why don't you make a just a perception check? For me or for Night Eyes? Well, if Night Eyes is the one who's trying to find. Yeah. Uh, it should better be I in sent, Night Yeah, because I sent him, a, him ahead. Thanks, Night Eyes. Thanks, Nikes, apparently. Oh, wait, you haven't actually got there yet. Yeah. yeah, when I get there, I will, of course, too, but Night Eyes Welcome went ahead. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jump. Player. Thanks, Night Eyes. You have a plus five and you failed me. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> I'm never going to find her. <laughs> well, when you get there, you're informed that Night Eyes has spotted about six or seven cloaked individuals so far after a few quick scans of the docks? Hey, uh... Okay, so... Um, I think... God, are there any ships leaving soon? I have a feeling she's going to be near one of them. You have no idea. I have no idea. There are, there are the same three it's ships which obvious. were in port when you Actually, no, not same three ships, but there are three ships in similar positions to when you uh, arrived yesterday. Oh, I know. Night, night, night eyes, call out for these clues. 
figures telepathically and see if any of them respond to you. <laughs> uh, who are we? Uh, who are we looking for? Well, Just um, friends. Let's um, see. Are you following Night Eyes as he does this? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking too, as well. You know. All right. We'll make a perception check. Uh, what, is my, uh, what is my perception? Oh God, I have a plus four. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It is a plus four. So good at perceiving things. Just, it's better. It's better. Please. Please. You see about three or four people look incredibly shocked and just start glancing around incredibly paranoid as you assume they are receiving in their head some form of images or sensors. Okay, so it's not them then. What about the other ones? Uh... Two of them, you don't notice any visible reaction, and you don't know where the seventh is. Okay, so so there's there were seven in total. Two of them had no visible reaction. I don't know where the seventh is. Um, can I tell with the sixth and the fifth what uh, weapons they have on them? Uh, they one of them doesn't appear to be armed, just sort of a cloak and a large rucksack. Uh, a large sort of backpack and a flowing cloak. Uh, very billowing, very hard to see any sort of discerning features other than height. Uh, the other has a bow slung over their um, slung sort of over them. Uh, it's They are cloaked, but it's not like billowing and they appear to be a relatively well-built individual. Mm, okay, I don't think it's a six then. Oh god. Unless that's on purpose. Oh god. I don't know. <sighs> no way I can, like. Oh god. I don't know what to do. I don't know which one it is. I want to find her so badly. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm saying this out loud. I'll go with, but uh. Uh, uh, I could like bump into them. I don't know, see the reaction. Could find the seventh one that Night Eyes mentioned that I can't see. Is um, Savigal still in range of our scene? Uh, yeah, she wasn't running, and you have roughly the same movement speed, so everyone but Sano would have been struggling, uh, would have been uh, <laughs> keeping up with her. Sano may have been slowly lagging. <laughs> Well, Seven Gold is going to play a jaunty tune behind our scene and inspire her. <laughs> well, thanks, Seven Gold. Figure both, fi both figures five and six look in your direction. Do I recognize you? Then? Hoods are up. I'm short. Yes. What kind of speeches? Uh, elf, elf, read to the elves. It's mm. it's kind of hard to tell. One's quite well built, and it seems a bit too built for an elf. The other mm. one could possibly be. Can I? But both mm. sort of figures kind of glance in the direction. You see the hoods turn, and sort of you assume they must be definitely glancing at the cats now playing bagpipes. And while most people are sort of going, oh, well, that, that, that's weird, or sort of getting into the music, or just plugging their ears you see both of these figures don't particularly want to be uh hanging around okay can i um push forward past the the lesser well-built one of the two without like going directly for them but like that makes sense i don't want to be too obvious you i don't want think to stealthily either. shadow them I'm I'm still I'm still con con concerned about the seventh person that night eyes picked up on. Hi, hi. Well, this is all happening. <laughs> Sano is going. Ha, ha, ha. Oh good. Okay. Oh Stitch. Oh no, that's not good. Run it off. Okay. Run it off. Okay, never mind. Oh boy. Me. Oh. Okay. Can I? I stay Can behind I with Sano, like giving him motivational support. Come on, buddy. We got it. <laughs> We gotta keep up, come on. <laughs> Just one more mile, dude. One more mile. Feel the burn! <laughs> it's the home straight. Come on, you can do this. You got this. Um, yeah, pretty much. One foot in front of the other. Come on, just keep on putting them down. 
<laughs> God, um, I've had enough of those motivational speeches. Mm-hmm. Marathon sports. I can't spell. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, with your. Okay. Um, can I ask Night Eyes the tale of the seventh person, whilst I tell the fifth person subtly? Or certainly, uh, both both roll a stealth checks. Is there any way? Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, okay. Both roll stealth. Okay. My stealth. I, I, I don't know what to do. This is all focused on the wee one. Mhm. You have no idea what's happening. Uh, yeah, just we just run. <laughs> I rolled a She's natural one. literally just paid someone to find someone and then has run off into the city. That is all you know. Hmm. So I rolled a natural one. I'm not being subtle at all. Night Eyes, however, coming in with a 22. <laughs> okay. Well, Night Eyes, being fine that he is, <laughs> is able to quite easily avoid detection. Our scene? You have a cat playing the bagpipes following you around. Uh, that's drawing an awful lot of attention, and people are sort of looking at it, and you're having to kind of barge and squeeze through people, and you're beginning to breathe heavily. Lots of people, confined space. Mm. Not too happy. So Not very good at stealthing. Mm. Uh, but you see the uh, person. Uh, was standing at a uh, stand conversing with what appears to be a uh, you would assume maybe a sailor sort of somewhat well built um, quite muscular calloused hands sort of very aged face scruffy beard and uh, sort of yellow stained eyes I miss my beard uh Right over my head. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. What if I what if I walk past the cloaked figure and just see the, cloak, the cloak move figures away? moved off, but oh, they fuck. were talking to essentially what looks like a seasoned sailor. Uh, uh, I want to go. All this time, Borges is like, "Come on, Cerno, come on, let's go." <laughs> Paul and Cerno finally catch up with Savangal. Why are we doing this? What are we doing? I'm going after stuff. Did I lose the other person? I'm assuming I did. Uh, well, you're focusing on person five. five. Mm-hmm. Uh, try and find person six again if you want. But... No, I'm going to go after Night Eyes, who was tailing person seven. If I've lost person five. Yeah, you haven't lost person five, but I was. Mm. Um, you're not exactly stealthing, and that's who you saw they were talking to. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's it's, it's like, torn between hoping like if she'd notice me, she'd like say something, but I don't think she would. I think she'd avoid me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, night eyes. I'm gonna go see who night eyes is for. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, well, as you I turn haven't... to go see where night eyes has gone, you notice that he is flying back towards you. I'm gonna ask him why. What happened? Why? What? What Not happened to the right person? Not the right person. Fine. Where is person number five gone? <laughs> 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 Thanks, I think. Uh, well, probably better than I do. I don't know. Person five has made it relatively far down the uh, street. Oh, fuck, night eyes, help me. <laughs> I'm going after her. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. Gotta go. And so, Agnes, what are you doing? I'm doing it, my note. Not much. Walking towards the stables. Trying not to react to anything this guy does. He's just floating along beside you. Then I just Just... go and collect the, the horses and cart and wait outside gate of the town because that's what we agreed to do (laughs) yeah all right well (laughs) you go back and you find 
your horses, with uh, being well cared for, your cart and trunk still in it. Uh, the woman is uh, somewhat sad to um, see that you're not uh, extending the stay to which they're going to be here, but uh, well, uh, hopefully I can get you as a return custom. I'll get your ho horses hooked up to your cart for you. It is very possible. Thank you very much. No problem. And uh, she goes, gets the uh, her stable hand, and they start hooking the horses up to the cart. Whilst the guy just sort of floats next to you. If If you could see his facial features, it would look like he's sort of biting his lip or tongue, trying not to say anything. But most of his features are I'm, sort of wisping, smoky shadows. I am going to make sure that when where Agnes is waiting, she is far enough distance away that if she's talking to him, no one's going to really clock on. See. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bear. Sano. Cat. What are you guys doing? Bear Don't sure play the bagpipes. Then put him on a show. Roll a performance. At this point, I've picked up um, Cerno because I know for a fact my little buddy's tired at this point from running that much. Sorry. All right, I'm I'm sort of I'm on full shoulder like a like a lighthouse tower thing going do 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 <laughs> scanning looking. <laughs> like um, the iron, uh, I'm the iron giant, and you're. Um... Whole I've growth? never seen it, so I'll just go yes and nod. Okay. Like the lighthouse you've recently it. seen in this world. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. I'm too... uh, like that. Savangal, that's a pretty fine show, and you're somewhat annoyed that last night didn't go this well. Mm. Well. Uh, but you are playing very well. Uh, you've noticed that you've split the crowd in about half. Half of them are walking around with the fingers in their ears. The other half are standing there and sort of quite getting into it. <laughs> Bagpipes are a very polarizing option. <laughs> the bagpipes I've heard are amazing. Bagpipes I've heard are really bad. Um, well, I mean, um, why we haven't polarizing. heard Seven Girls bagpipes then. <laughs> I listened to a cover of Shipping Up to Boston and Inner Sandman played on bagpipes, and I loved all of it. <laughs> yes, Jam, you're either Scottish or you're not. <laughs> uh, so basically, we just sit and wait for Abby for character es exposi ex exposition, mm -hmm. right? So wait, Sana, you said you were lighthousing. What are you looking for? Uh, it, Abby and anything else i'm just you know just looking through the crowd and abby oh, well sorry. weirdly enough abby isn't there but our scene is shut up <laughs> that's okay oh, wait. Whoops, we've the <laughs> shut up that's not the right thing that's the thing there it is so you do what do you want me to roll any checks or anything uh sure roll a perception check uh, slow, slow. i can talk it's easy I do it all the time. I'm also incredibly hit hypocritical. You are. That'd be 20. Why do you be better on this? Well, considering that she rolled a natural one in stealth, you easily <laughs> spot who, where she is. I'm desperate, okay? I'm not really paying attention to stealth. through people in a very un scene like way. I do not like this at all, uh, but I'm desperate. Uh, and in fact, you also notice a cloaked figure who appears to be ahead of our scene, who she seems to be following. Badly? Badly following? Alright, do I clock <laughs> on that to she is... Uh, interest? Do I clock on that she's interested in this person? You clock on that she is probably trying to follow this cloaked figure. Yes. Um, I tap the uh, boar's head and go onward, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> so if I'm tailing there's someone, there's no, and you guys actually, are tailing. No, uh, boy walks off in the direction he's been pointed. 
<laughs> what, a sterno <laughs> holding you by, like, the ears and twisting your head to change it's what like direction you move in? Like, I, was, yeah. I was thinking he was holding onto my shoulders, like, hanging on top of my head, points, uh, moves my head slightly and goes forward, and I just... Like a, yeah, right. like a, giant like a, no, it's like the kids reference. sitting on the shoulders, he grabs the ears and he just turns the head to steer you. Yeah, yeah. Just, we're going this way, Bo, uh, this way. So, Bo, you start weaving through the crowd, heading in a similar direction, and with your long legs and your monk training, you're able to relatively easily catch up with Arsene, who had a, about 30 seconds or so head start. Can I sneak up behind them? Roll a sneak. Roll a stealth. Oh, you're so sneaky, though. Roll a stealth. Roll a d20, and I think my stealth is a plus five, if I'm not wrong. I, I would also I like Serdo to roll stealth. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> oh, I let see, me see that. My stealth. My perception is 14. Plus two. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh... By the way, that's how you spell Ratatouille. Oof. What's stupid is it gives me the movie yeah. and not ooh. Oof. Well, so don't you sort of notice Boar take a slightly lower stance, pull his uh, cloak, which he is currently wearing, around him a bit more to try and blend in, kind of hunches his shoulders, and you go, shit, where can I hide? Uh, and you just sort of lie over the top of him and make yourself look like a very terrible looking hat. <laughs> I am unseen. I am sneaky. <laughs> like so, Bo, you have a very light. weird halfling tree bush hair <laughs> hat. It's like I can't the, hat see. Hold on. the weird guy in Labyrinth who had the talking hat. I can't see at all. My vision's gone blurry. <laughs> As you yourself are actually somewhat more stealthy, uh, who are you trying to sneak up on? I've seen. Uh, let us see. I have a passive perception of 14, so... Yeah, no, um... <laughs> the Cerno hat kind of greatly it gives, gives away. it away. Yeah, and <laughs> as focused as our scene is on trying to follow this person, she does notice you. I, oh, what are we doing? I try to say it as I mean, I'm, I'm looking for something. You guys know to be here. You can go back to the horses, buy your little horses. I mean, I'm looking for my friend, you know. They're, they're around here somewhere, apparently. I'm just going to keep looking. Oh. Well, well, helping. Why don't we help? Mm. Well, because you all of us helped, even the cat. Which I look back in mm. the direction the bagpipes are going. Oh, actually, why are you looking for them? Who are they, uh -huh. you know, that that sort of thing? Oh, they're, well, they're, they're a friend of mine, and they just went missing one day, so I'm just looking for them. Cause it'd be real, I mean, I know they're alive, and that's great, I know, but it'd be nice to at least see them and say hi, and be like, thanks for letting me know that you're alive, I'm gonna go now. You know? You know? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I get just that. Wanted to, um, I wanted to see them again, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, okay. Mm. Hmm. Great. <laughs> well, we can't really help you look unless we know what they look like. Oh, yeah. uh, Elven. They're an elf. She's an elf. She's, she's, she's an elf. Wood elf. Wood, a wood elf. Night oh, Eyes I... has seen them, right? Yes, Night Eyes. Lend a hand. I didn't actually write a description for this person. Night <laughs> Eyes. Well, I'll give you a description. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, she is elven of, uh, she is wood elf of average height. Um, has relatively long uh, hair, of a actually weird. <laughs> it's uh, brown, but it's semi sort of going white a lot earlier than it should have. Uh, she's uh, of average build. Doesn't really stand out too much. Average height. Um, Pointy ears, quite recognisable, and uh, a relatively angular face with one or two scars, noticeable sort of uh, small sort of scars sort of around her neck and on her arms if they're visible. Oh, she also wields 
two daggers as well, normally. No, she needs one. Or a bow, yeah, well, depending yeah, how she's yeah, feeling. How she's feeling, you know. She... To... Okay. Night eyes. What would I have to, yeah. What do they smell like? <laughs> that is a very fucking... strong earthy scent with what you think might be rotting flesh? <laughs> That's pretty yeah. accurate. So yeah, puts sorry. his fingers over his nose. Ah, oh, this just isn't going to be fun. Fingers right up his nose. <laughs> you know, All right, I'm going to take my fingers out of my nose. I'm going <laughs> to hop off ball. I'm going to wild fall into. Uh, I don't want to be a wolf, but I want to be a dog sort of thing. They'll have like the. I don't want to be scary wolf. <laughs> he becomes a corgi. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> that works. <laughs> uh, that was actually a joke. <laughs> But you can become a corgi if you want. As long as I have like the uh, advantage on uh, um, like smelling checks with perception, that's all I'm sort of looking for. So the warden's back again. Okay. No, do do a bloodhound. Uh, no, corgis are better out. because they have such stumpy legs. But oh. they have themselves brain damage if they run. Yeah, I just want like uh, so just I just want the keen thing. hearing and smell, but. Not particularly interested in looking but, like deadly. Uh, yeah, the bloodhound is a really well, good dog because they're mm-hmm. used for tracking prisoners and just tracking in general. Oh, they have like one of the best senses of smell. Uh, oh, well, yeah. there are no dogs. To, uh, no, there's a massive statistics. We'll we'll work off that. Uh, right. Yeah, you have advantage on uh, perception checks that rely on hearing and smell, and you would have seen um, a variety of dog breeds, not quite as we know them. Uh, wandering around, and I would say, just purely from your imagination, you could probably become a corgi if you wish to. <laughs> we'll add that. We'll add that to the list of stuff I can become. Um, All right, he can become a corgi. However, I'm going to rule that your move speed is 25 feet. See, I was about to say your move is, is that... going to be slow. Wait, no. My movement speed is 25 feet anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and you are a small beast, not a medium. <laughs> In fact, I can... I Again, can doesn't matter. Stat. I'm a more small I, creature. I, I'm, go, I'm going to make a stat sheet for this. <laughs> yes. This is... Okay. But anyway, yes, continue. All right. Uh, <laughs> you become a corgi. With their with their face in mind and the smell that Nido has gave me, I'm going to basically trap. Uh, roll... Uh, I would say uh, roll a survival check at advantage. And, and Boar um, is going to help look that for will, faces. That'll be a plus one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I look for that person's I'll face? I'll roll again uh, just in case for the... Alright, that's perception a 19. Check. I don't know if oh, in fact okay. I won't get advantage for this, but... Perception Actually, uh, no, no, it's it's your survival, isn't it? Because, yeah, no, it's your survival. Yeah, it's whatever your survival is. What is your survival? Mine. Yeah. Oh no, it's plus four. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I I forgot. Uh, you keep your mental stats. So yeah, it's whatever your survival is. Yeah. Perception, right? Uh, yes, perception for you. Jeez, we Louise, just... do we even need me? Oh, bye, Sophie. You do uh, because I rolled. Shit. Yes, because ball. Uh, starts staring at people's faces, and he can definitely say that what who you're looking for is not in the area. This is because Corgi Cerno, you realize that they are in fact actually they have ducked into an alley a couple of uh, probably about seventy or so feet further along. Also, every now and then your paw gets close to getting stuck into these wooden slats which make up the road. It's okay, we will we will you hold uh, so I realize that they've gone into an alley. It, yes. I yap at them. Yep! 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 To get uh, <laughs> one of their attentions. <laughs> and I, and I say with a smile on face, what is it boy? Is is yep! Kenny yep! stuck and in I, a well? And I <laughs> and I do 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 de 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 I don't I don't remember how cookies walk so I'm going and into the into the alley. Um hoping that they follow, oh, otherwise I'm probably yeah, dead. I'm, I'm following you. <laughs> like all... Mm. all right. Uh, well actually uh, an, an alley sounds nice. Behind. An alleyway sounds really nice right now. <laughs> okay, Here's the so... alley. 
following there's a corgi, a giant, well, a half sized so bear. A corgi, a corgi, a small bugbear, and a tiefling. Jam has a point. The last alley you went down, you did find a dead body. We don't know that. And a cat playing bagpipes. <laughs> all go into an alley. This sounds like the start of a terrible joke. Terrible joke. Yeah, I was about to say the same day. Oh thing. no, if there's another dead body, and the guards find out, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> oh no. Never fear. For there is no dead body. Oh, thank fuck. So as uh, Corgi Sano goes around the corner, uh, your sense of smell is leading you quite well. Uh, and you uh, stop for a bit, sniff around. There's a few other... You're not sure whether to say interesting or horrifying smells in here. <laughs> but you uh, you get a good sniff. And uh, she's definitely been along here. You kind of go down and you sniff a bit more. And then you kind of sit and stare up at this, uh, what appears to be, the, it's pretty much just a, it's just a large bin. And you kind of sit there, and you stare, and your little tail wags, for you know you have found your quarry. I'm going to open it, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so I much, Sarah. I'm going to gingerly open it. All right. You know, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be the old. That'd be the ultimate fate, wouldn't it? We I will murder Nate when I go for the hand No, inside you do see a figure. Who, as you open the lid, the head quickly looks up, and you hear a. <sighs> Close the lid again, if you like. Oh no, it it was who you're expecting. She just doesn't seem particularly happy. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be like that. Um, Actually, make an insight check, please, our scene. Oh, fun. Where's my insight? Plus four. Wait, what? 18. <laughs> you get the sense that where she may be unhappy, there's a strong sense of sort of worry adding to it. Right. Okay. Right. God, I mean, really, I just came to make sure you were still alive, if I'm honest, and I'm just glad to see you. Are you just talking to a bin with a lid on it? Well, let me, okay, I closed it again. Didn't I? <laughs> well, I know she's in there now. That's fine with me. I know she's alive and she's in so there. So, for all you just see a uh, scene talking to a trash can. I didn't wait the shit. With a little corgi sitting next to her. With a little corgi, and Boar is now sitting next to it, petting it. I'm a yeah. also pet the corgi. They <laughs> were just both sitting down petting the dog. <laughs> but the small dog's getting pets. <laughs> in a monologue. <laughs> pets, 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 um, pets. Yay, 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 yay. You have the same intelligence as Cerno. <laughs> you have the same mind as Cerno. Okay, I'm treating Cerno like it's all um, Bravo, all of you, for helping me. Um, um, oh, hi. What is your point? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, you know, we had a feeling something bad had happened, but you know, there's a sort of oh, irritable yeah. sigh again before... I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> As the bin, the lid kind of just gets pushed up, she steps <laughs> out and puts the lid back on before sort of brushing herself down. And a, a few um things fall off. Oops. Definitely things which should maybe should have stayed in the bin. Oh, she turns I... to look at you and lowers her hood yeah. and it is indeed... <laughs> I'm so torn between attempting to have you have followed me. And, I mean, sorry, I just felt worried, you know? Yes, and I just didn't want you getting caught up in it. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, I kind of feeling it was something like that. But you but... hear an awkward crunch as Boar is now taking what jerky he has and slowly eating it. <laughs> Thanks, Boar. Sonos looking at the jerky. Yeah, yeah. Sonos <laughs> looking at the jerky. There, there. I, I give him a piece. Uh -huh. I, I break it off and give him. There's a now a. <laughs> <laughs> As, as the corgi is now like eating jerky as well. Friends, traveling, parents, friends. Uh, I just, you know, didn't... Well, I thought you would... Looking at who you're hanging around with now, I really feel like I failed like a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do too badly. We, no one's died yet. That's good enough. <laughs> what was that purple? Abigail <laughs> pets the wood elf. <laughs> she sort of freezes and her eyes widen slightly. And, uh, she's she's, she's would, harmless. She's harmless. I would, I'm sorry. sorry. Look. Uh, yeah. You, uh, I didn't. I can't. I. Yeah. I need to go. I know. I know. I. I'm just glad you're okay. Uh, anyone else? I didn't see you. I don't know you. Usual. No. Thanks. Sorry. I actually have no idea what you just said there, Abby. I'm very... I, I basically... Asked, well, our scene just went into the straight mumble of... I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I'm just glad you're okay and alive. No, it's, it's... It's it's not so much you seeing me. It's more... Me seeing you. Oh. Uh, like what? That's... Look, it's, sorry. I, I can't... I can't explain anymore. Mm. Now, I, I should probably go. I would strongly suggest you don't try and find me again. Does that count for us? Okay. And you probably don't want to let the bugbear find me again either. <laughs> that is a really weird looking wolf. It's, it's, he's, he's sweet. He oh, oh, Cerdo, you can <laughs> jump out of that form now. Sono, Sono does the growl, but he transforms back anyway, so he's just not. So he just ends up as a halfling on all fours, just growling. <laughs> yeah, things things have been a bit interesting. <laughs> There's still a bit of jerky hanging out of the corner of Sono's mouth. Sono, without um, even realizing, it just goes, <laughs> just like brings it in and. Thanks, and Sono. We're making an amazing impression. You guys this really are. Like bringing <laughs> your friends over to meet your parents. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much what it feels like. Oh, yeah, no. I... Yeah. Right. I mean, Chen, is there anything I... No, there's nothing I could do to help. There's always you would have asked. But... Yeah, yeah. I don't really wish to help. The only thing I could... Of course Hang on, do. dog's barking. So no, cut it out! Of course, always, anything. Uh, if only that uh, was me. Dogs barking, dogs barking, dogs barking. You're so cute. Okay, okay. they've quietened down now. If there was... Uh, if you really wish to help... Uh, they, mm. um, yeah, of course, always. The only thing I could say is... Find out about... The Sisters of the Crimson Mouth. Mm, I'm going to repeat add, that so I can write it name, down. Add sisters. that name to the thing. Add that name to the details. Crimson Oath. I, I've missed things. The I've missed sisters things. Sisters of the Crimson Oath. Oath, okay. Yeah, I thought what, it was a bold, almost. Subtly. I mean... My ears I mean, is hearing you know, things that aren't actually there. We did some there. great invest investigation. And as she says that, you see her sort of wince and bring her hand up to her head. <sighs> I said too much. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That doesn't. Yeah, okay, right. I'll I'll be careful. Um, as you're rambling, you. she literally run pa runs past all of you. Uh, I just and out of the alley. I just watch, but don't I don't follow her at all. Uh, oh, okay. Bye. Oh, okay. 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 Right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Do another like loud awkward crunch. Are you enjoying your jerky there? 
about that do you we don't know she didn't ask us questions we won't ask her questions only for that's true. and i get up <laughs> doing like a spin and then i walk off get up! and i grab onto his <sighs> i grab onto his hand for him to lift me up onto his shoulders <laughs> with i actually I throw him up a little bit and i put him on my shoulders can i do that you do what sure. with me I th I throw I lift you up a little bit and hopefully you land on my shoulder. Oh god. Um, let's see. Comet, just a dex check to try and land. Why did you do this? Before? One second. You brought this because upon. I want to see Whatever this happens, I want to you see brought this, this upon me. Well, I'm going to see if I can catch him if I don't if he's not able to do anything. <laughs> can I see about catching him? Would well, help if I unmuted myself. Yeah, 13, you were able to catch yourself. Uh, uh, ball, your head kind of swings slightly as Sarno's kind of grabs hold of the fur, pulls, and it's kind of painful, but he scrambles and uh, sort of writes himself on your head. Okay. Mm. I sort of on his head. You know I don't like flying. Ow. It was just a little up. Mm. I don't like falling. Know that. I mean, nobody does. Well, it's it's not it's not so much falling that I'm afraid of. It's more the end bit. Also, comment check the D and D chat. <laughs> Love it. We now have a yeah, corgi. Uh, yeah, we now have a corgi D and D site. D and D seat. I haven't done its hit. Damn. I'll have to edit that later. But there you go. That is awesome. I'll send you a I'll send you a proper one, and if you really want, you can mm. just stick it in the stre uh, stream when you upload it. Oh, I was rooting through images online for two of the dragons, and I imagine Night Eyes like that, but like a different color. See, I was thinking like a, a light blue, kind of like Andy or the dragon well, that's, hat. Uh, it's, a dragon. Blackish, you, you imagine... it's a blackish. It's a blackish purple. Black yeah. Okay, then yeah, I'm you imagine the blue that. because of the uh, token so that we so use for night eyes. Yeah, that's probably yeah, yeah, but, is that uh, what I gave him. Silvery eyes. Or do you have just normal black eyes? I can't remember. No, I think. Anyways, that's we're silvery. off to go okay. find the witch. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Instead yeah. Instead of yeah. going to find the wizard, we're off to see the the witch, uh, the wonderful witch of the cart. Do 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 do. If, if I know, we're talking about uh, Agnes. Agnes, yeah. If we're heading back that way, guys, can we stop by the card station? The card um, place? Why? Uh, what did you do? Oh, I didn't do... What did you do? I did... What did you do? Just, do you guys think I did something? Am I really that it's bad? It's us. Person? It's us. Like, literally, I'm half you a bug there. Okay, okay, fair. No. Don't worry, I didn't do anything. I promised I found something. Because the cat's still playing the bagpipes. I, I would assume. I, I would assume she stopped by this point because she fess, uh, fussed the corgi. Fuss, fuss, fuss. I mean, she started back up once everything's done, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. she, she now is playing the bagpipes again. Okay. Well, right. I guess we. We follow and go to the guard station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you slowly weave through town and eventually end up, indeed, back at the guard station. Sweet. Oh, boy. I'm so I'm just going to, you know, walk in. Uh, it probably takes you about an hour or so to make the way back okay. through. Now at this time... Sorry, this has been a, a very long sidetrack. Born Sona just like... I, I have... I, I, what I'm thinking is... Sona's like a little kid on his on his papa's shoulder. Aww. So I'm just holding on to his little legs while I walk. That's adorable. <laughs> I 
good I'm just sort of like got my elbows. I'm like resting my head on my uh, hands with my elbows on his head. <laughs> what we need to do? All right. Guard station. So I go you inside. You end up making your way back. Same guard station, and there are two guards outside. I recognise them. And they've actually, I wasn't really paying attention before. Never mind. So, Agnes, what are you doing? Am I far away enough that I can talk to this guy without? Uh, the car being was consented. hooked up. And uh, you'd been sat on the cart for about ten minutes or so when the uh, woman came back out, out and went, Well, go on! You're driving away customers! Go on, shoot! I was shoot. going away. I told you I was trying to go away so I could talk to the guy. <laughs> uh, you can't park up near the gates, but you can park up uh, al just sort of where the road starts to bend yeah. away and start going around the outside of the city. That I do. That works. Uh, there, you uh, can park the car off the road, and there's one or two people walking past. But you think you're far enough away that they're not going to really hear or even bother to pay much attention. <laughs> so why were you biting your tongue? Hmm. Me. Hmm. Who else would I be talking to? Very good point. Oh, I mean, it's just been so long since I've been able to have a conversation. It'd be nice to have them, even small talk. Why are you biting your tongue in the stables? Small talk. You do you know how boring it's been? Oh my god! Walking around, all I can do is make snarky comments that no one can even hear. Oh, they take a lot of time and effort to make. Most of the time. <laughs> and basically, yeah, no, by the time I like... say them, the event's long past, so even if there was someone who could appreciate them, they wouldn't really know what I'm going on about. But still! Oh I know God. what it is like to walk about by yourself with no one around for a few months, yes. There's a difference between walking around with no one around and being able to do fuck all and walking around with people there which you can't even interact with. At first, you think, oh, it'll be quite fun, you know, you can mess around, no one would realize, and then you realize no one realizes. So you didn't recognize anyone in town? Oh, God, we're in a town, aren't we? Um, no, I don't think so. I relate wow. to this character on an emotional level. <laughs> I love this character. Uh, yeah, me. Oh, I relate so hard. If I were to introduce you to people, would you know, you can tell me whether you know them, recognize them, or anything they say. We, cool. I will be traveling with a few people, you can talk to me whenever. They're bound As... to find out, find out after a while about you. I'll probably be staring at you, talking to you, looking slightly madder than usual. Well, I mean, you could act as a way for me to talk to other people. I would be thrilled! As for recognising um, people, you do recall the whole... Uh, d d d uh, at name thing. What did I go with again? Denton? Dayron? Darian. Darian, now is it? To... No, Darian, it you seem to remember, remember no, one or two one. names and a few things about your past. Who knows if seeing someone could trigger anything. Something about Todd. Exactly. Oh, I know someone who else who has mentioned Todd. Oh? Do you think they could be the same one? At this point, you've noticed he's no longer standing, and he is now actually floating horizontally, and is sitting on an arm. Sort of <laughs> as if on his side, just chatting. I imagine, like... Think of old 90s, like, chick flicks when they're on the bed with the telephone, like, legs <laughs> kicking behind them. Yeah, pretty much. Just <laughs> floating there. <laughs> um, well, the four people I will be traveling with, they can know about you, I guess. I don't see why not. It'll help. Well, the merrier. 
see my sanity, but I will not act as a translator for you. Oh, you won't be translating. I will not act as a messenger, then. Oh. I do not... I have enough people considering my sanity at the moment as it is. My own state and I have some dead person following me around. Well, I think I'm dead. Mm. Which also comes to another question. Why are you the first person I am able to see in such a situation if you are dead? Uh, yes, I know pass? you don't have the answer to that. <laughs> I love this game. I am yeah, pass, trying pass. to not dislike you as much as I really want. Oh, who could dislike me? Many people. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, we can't prove or deny this because only you can talk to me. Well... Let's just go with, out of all the people that can talk to you, the majority dislike you so far. One out of one isn't a good sizing. That's no. unfair. I demand a recount. How long has it been since I said goodbye to them? <laughs> and with that, we're going to go back to our scene. Oh, shit. I'm sweet in my arm. Okay, while well, this is happening, I'm going to heat up food because I haven't eaten all day. Okay. I'm... Yeah, I go to go to the fire station see if the lady I spoke to before is still there. Uh... Well, she's we'll not making your way towards in and one of the guards uh, stationed outside goes uh, what's your purpose here miss? Uh, uh, sorry I, I was here before I had to come in as a witness testimony I needed to ask about something um, a little boring um, I mean yeah, I, I were a witness to something but see my companion and I were heading out of town today for business but I don't know if I'm allowed to go I'm a witness. Uh, I don't know how this uh, works. I've never done this before. I'm just a kid. You know what? Just go in. Why don't you go in and ask that? I, I don't think I can. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just, Thank just you. go in. Sorry. Thank you for your help. You too. <laughs> what is, oh, wait. No, you're the companion. Sorry. Damn it. Go on. In in as well. In. And he <laughs> ushers you in. I steer boring. I play boring. I play cat is playing still. <laughs> Uh, do you mind staying outside? Cat gives kitty eyes. All right, go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wasn't me on guard duty if they ask. No worry, we'll give them the wrong name. <laughs> we don't know the name. Put makeup on. That's gonna go well. Yeah, you know, just give like the worst name possible. Anyway. Thanks. Uh, lady, is the lady there from before that I signed the slip? Uh, you glance around, and at a different desk, a similar lady is, uh, sorry, a familiar lady is indeed sat. Just gingerly make my way over to it, order it is. She was nice before, I'm sure. One second. I think she's scribbling something down. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Are you hello. here to edit your testimony? No, sorry. It was... Uh, Haven't remembered any more information? No, I've mostly just been, you know, trying to calm it down from it. I know. see you've gained a few friends. They're my travelling companions that I'm currently in town with, which is what I came to ask about. See, my companions and I were planning on leaving today. I panicked earlier, didn't get a chance to mention it, but I don't... Am I allowed to? Well, we would strongly prefer if you didn't, whilst the investigation is ongoing. Investigation? Um, yes, investigation. Yeah, um, I'll 
explain in more detail. Well, you see, uh, your traveling companion here <laughs> witnessed, or well, at least found, we, well, yeah, we found in almost cohesion with a fellow guard, a Goliath whose spine had been taken. There was a Goliath. What? Fatality. That's why there was so much blood. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, the the mm. head was found um, oh, elsewhere, God. but the uh, spine had been completely removed. Uh, local? Were they... It was about three blocks away. No, like, were they local? <laughs> oh, we haven't quite got round to identifying the corpse. Do you know any Goliaths who have gone missing in the past three days? No, no, I, 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 no I do know okay. a Goliath or two, though, mm -hmm. so I was just curious. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Well, he was relatively tall, um, not entirely strong from what we could tell. Whoever ripped him in half must have been quite strong. Yeah, it was... And, uh... Yeah, there was... Yeah, no, no not much else. Uh, nah. I didn't have... Didn't have much on him. Uh, mm. uh, the, a few gold, some copper... Uh, a shitty little knife and uh, not much else. Mm -hmm. Does really this nice, huh? description sound at anything like uh, what I know of Gaian? Uh, you know Gaian to carry around a quarterstaff most of the time? Uh, Description-wise, I mean, she's kind of just described a skinny Goliath. You're pretty sure the last time you saw him he wasn't skinny? All right, then. Uh, question. Can I recall anything else from the scene now that Alcine's had a bit of time to think and calm down? Uh, I'm not roll really an calm intelligence down. check. Oh, boy, my favourite. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I'm just so smart. No, I to spell it. I was going to type int. There we go. 12. Not bad, considering. Not bad. At 12? You kind of think a bit on it a bit more? Uh, the information uh, comes to mind may not be too helpful to them, but uh, you don't recall seeing any other footprints other than yours, sort of in the blood. The blood was beginning to congeal slightly, so um, have been dead a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Uh you don't recall seeing the head anywhere, so you assume they must have um, rooted around and found it. Other than that, uh, the splitting in half seemed done with almost surgical precision? Cut rather than ripped? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's not terrifying at all. Ooh, tell me about it. <gasps> but yes, uh, we, we would prefer if you stayed in town. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, thank you. I'll talk to my companions about that, because, you know, we need um, business elsewhere, so. Yeah, we uh -huh. kind of do have business elsewhere. Uh, I... Well then, could I at least get a name and a couple of hairs? Sure, yeah. The name. Good, good. Uh, well. Uh, and she kind of reaches down, pulls out an envelope, and writes. Uh, you see written quite uh, quickly, but in relatively neat handwriting. Um, uh, it is uh, witness <clears throat> case 276B. Your name? Uh, Ar Arsene. Uh, Arsene? Uh, you need to spell it for you? You good? No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh... That right, and it, it is spelled correctly. Yep, that's perfect. I'm impressed. Good, good. Underline. Uh, mm. Use pass. for finding if required for further investigation. And she kind of puts the quill away, opens it. Uh, your hairs, please. Yeah, I'll just pluck a few hairs, I guess. Uh, it's slightly painful, but uh, she kind of takes them. Wraps them slightly, sticks them in the envelope, pushes it down, licks, folds, 
puts it into a pile for filing. Uh, very well. Uh, if we have any more need of you, we will, um, well, we will find your location and get in contact. Okay, great. Uh, we still Thank advise you, you to stay on this plane. Uh, you are not oh. planning on traveling on oh, other planes we, of existence, are you? Yeah. Uh, we don't plan on it. No. Okay, yeah. no traveling to further planes of existence. Uh, mm. If we can't get in contact with you, we will try again in the following hour to just in case you may have been somewhere where we couldn't get in contact with you, anti magic field, they have a few of those around. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh. Great to know. Thank you. I will do my best to avoid those places, but you know. Yes, no interplanar travel would be, uh, is almost a definite no go. Simply yeah. so we can find you. Okay. Well, I hope the investigation goes well. Or if well. you are travelling for long periods of time to a different plane of existence, if you could at least inform us and clear it with us first. Okay, will do. Right, thank you. Uh, yes. uh, you need our stuff too, or...? Were you a witness to a crime? In an ongoing investigation? No. There you have your answer. Oh, okay. And I walk out. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you for the help. Let's quickly leave. <laughs> Guys, I still cool. need to clean my shoes, don't I? Shit. Uh, your shoes are a somewhat horrible brownish colour. Mm. At least sad. bits of I didn't eat up my food long enough. How do I notice mm. that before? I don't remember. You are close to the ground. Uh, no, I believe your perception check was not high enough to notice it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, guys, back to what did you say? I guess was it the horses? Yeah, let's make our way there. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, you know, I'm glad I don't have to stay in town. How long has it been going since Agnes left them? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, it probably uh, the divination and getting across and to it probably took about an hour. Uh, probably 10 minutes and then probably about 40 minutes to track down and have the conversation with Shin uh, to then about 20 minutes so what, we're at uh, two and a bit hours mm -hmm. and so we're, we're, she's we're, Boris, Boris picking up his pace a little bit to hurry up in the cart. He doesn't want to be here anymore. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, well, stuff. As you're sort of picking up your pace and making sure uh, Sano is well seated into you, you kind of thunk into an individual and you both kind of stagger uh. slightly. No, no oh. hold on. No, don't, no, you went beep boop. You went beep boop. I need to hear that one more time. Well, as you sort of start to pick up the pace and you make sure Sono, uh, you sort of adjust Sono, make sure he's sat all right, and you're not entirely paying attention to where you're going, you end up slamming into someone and sort of staggering slightly as they sort of stumble and drop the uh, few books which they're carrying. Uh, oh, um, I'm I'm so sorry. And I, ah, yeah. <clears throat> I gotta help up pick up the books. Uh, uh, this person sort of looks up and you notice his eyes widen slightly. No, 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 no. He quickly picks up the books. I'm all good. Good, good. And he flicks his hood up and just rushes off. Uh, uh, did we see the face? Was that the guy to read one of the, one of the titles of those books? Uh, Savangal, make a perception check. We didn't see, uh, his hood didn't go down at all, did he? Uh, no, his, his hood was down when he walked into you. As soon as he saw you, he kind of flicked it up and then quickly made off. Uh, make a Make a perception check if you're trying to see his face. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah, see I'm, his face yeah. and then see if I remember. Just see see his face. That'd be a twenty. That would be yes. You saw his face, and that would be a twenty-one. Is, <laughs> yes, you definitely saw his face, and both of you realize you've you've seen this person before. Uh oh. What is um? Uh... Do we? Uh, can we yeah. place the do, face to a specific yes. place, event? To a maybe a specific time of opening cages? Go, you go, go, run, go! I get yeah. it to a starting run position and I just fucking bolt. 
Oh, God. So I don't make a deck save. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Did I read one of the books? <laughs> Savin so uh most of the books which fell appeared to be uh, just general uh, general books on um, uh, herbalism and botany. <laughs> and as you're sort of stood there, slightly puzzled, <laughs> Sono just kind Ow. of falls into your back Ow. as Boar just takes off sprinting. Uh. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, yeah, fine. Let's go. Fine. I grab let's onto go. their hands and like, let's go. Come on. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 And I'm I'm grabbing onto their legs and I start going into a little a half length sprint, which is probably just a walk for them. Seven <laughs> <laughs> Gaul is just Seven Gaul is just um almost walking on all fours, just sort of jumping slightly and staying perfectly in pace with you as you're going full marathon sprinting. Uh, as soon as I see the coat, can I try to barrel roll into the coat? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, calm down. Well, Agnes. You're Hi. beginning to get a tad impatient. Dayron has shut up for now. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, 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 I don't have any books. I don't, there's nothing. I, I've just been messing around with what I have in my bag and trying to pass time. Well, as you're sort of rummaging around in your bag, oh, sighing to yourself, hear him go, Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you, you may want to get the horses ready. Why? Well, you see, and at this point you hear <laughs> doof, 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 doof. Okay, yep. Or make well, an acrobatics well. check. <laughs> okay, acrobatics, it's a plus five, please! Seven! <laughs> there is now a boar landed face first in the back of the car. Boar, what have you done? <sighs> <sighs> Where are the others? How Coming. far behind are we? So well, considering Boar's movement speed <laughs> is 40 it's and yours is nearly 25. Double. Yeah. Yeah, base movement speed. So considering his is 40 and yours is 25, you're a bit behind them. Boar, what happened? Saw someone. Three or so minutes past. before. Cerno, Savangal, and Arsene finally make their way to the cart as well. I, I climb into so the cart and drive onto the driving seat. We all ready to go? We are all ready to go? Okay, okay, everyone Wait, in. Agnes is already, Agnes able is already to, at like, the range. put himself place. into the cart. He's, like, he's been running this whole time. Would he even be able to get onto the cart? You know, I'm going to roll that the adrenaline is pumping so much that he is able to <laughs> scramble up the cart and grab the reins. Yeah. We all ready? We all ready? Is everyone in? I'm, 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 I'm very jittery and waiting for everyone to get in. Come on, come on. Agnes is, would already be at the reins. Just like, so you now just have Sarno sat on your lap, on? not having noticed you were already sat there. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. um, Sarno. What uh, is going on? I yeah, the rains and we start taking off at a. Sir, no. Are we even in the car yet? Yeah. I can't shout, but um, Agnes would be shouting. Uh, I've seen you're sort of just stepping up into the cart when he yars the reins and the whole <laughs> kind of and just start at a relatively quick pace. You kind of shake slightly, but are able to pull yourself up into the cart. Doobie, doobie, doobie. I know. Doobie. What is going on? I, 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 I actually look up breakdown. like behind me, just like straight up, and I say, Agnes, when did you get there? <laughs> so, I know. Oh, nothing. Yes, nothing. Me. Yeah. What is going on? Nothing. Agnes, you noticed that Sono, whilst he's still looking at you and yahing, he hasn't actually directed the horses to go onto the road, and currently I'm... you're heading oh, for shit. a rather large stone. I'm trying to grab the reins or shoving him off me. <laughs> what are you doing, Sano? Uh, have I, I looked back. I did actually look straight at the road. I was looking. 
Mm-hmm. You said well, you looked up. Yeah, it's, it's uh, as you're looking up. Okay, I look back down. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> At this point, boy Make is... Make an animal moving. handling check, Cerno. Boy is hiding so, uh... inside of his cape as best as he fucking can. <laughs> but there's a perfectly valid empty chest. I, just... boy, can boy try to get in the chest? Oh, God. Sure. I'm sure it can What do I have you. to roll to do this? Please, please. A 17. Just roll a dex check. At 17, you're able to coax the horses to pull close to a handbrake turn to avoid... <laughs> And you manage to also somehow avoid rolling the cart as you do so. As you sort of so glance nice. around back over your shoulder to see if you're being followed, you notice just two furry legs sticking out of this chest in the back. So and I give me the reins and tell me what the hell is going on. Eh, nothing. Nothing at all. I just want to get underway, you know? So know. Nothing. You, all of you came running out of the town, are in a fit of panic, and want to leave immediately. What the fuck have you done? <laughs> well, that's some rather strong language, don't you think? I love it. I'd say it's called for. It's Do at this point, Agnes, you notice that he's still in the same position, and he's literally just floating alongside you at the same speed <laughs> to which the card is going at. <laughs> <laughs> Now tell me what the hell is going on. Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing at all, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing. You know, so nothing. He tells me he may be lying. So I could turn this cart around and we'll go straight back to town. You'd be perfectly fine with that. Please don't do that. Then start talking. Well, uh, we, 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 we saw a face. It was a familiar face. Can we please just drop it for now? Was it Todd? Was it Todd? It wasn't Todd. You don't know. You only heard the name Todd. You don't know who is Todd. Nope. No idea. So do I know if it was Todd? No, you, you're not entirely sure who Todd is. You know who Todd isn't. Because someone yelled uh, for Todd to hurry up and do something. And that hmm. wasn't Todd. But that was definitely one of the ones which you saw. Do I recognize who was it is, though? Uh, you're not entirely sure of on names of the people there. You heard one or two being shouted out when so uh, the commotion one, happened. So it's not one of the persons that I fought. So when you caused the commotion, there were... It's not like you learnt their names. They were obviously shouting names out, trying to get people to do things. It's some. And people don't shout their own name. So you know who you know that they aren't Todd if they're shouting Todd come and do this, but you're not entirely sure exactly who was who. Okay. But he did look fucking familiar. Anyways. Was it part of Todd's group? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Under Oxenbrand! I don't think he gets how lying works. You'd be surprised. Oh, ask the ghost if he knows he's going to show you. Oh, you don't need to it's do good. that anyway. <laughs> really strange. Yeah. You hear an owl? Hmm. Serdo lets me do, take the reins. You get your breath back, for goodness sake. Wait, shit, do I have night, <laughs> night eyes in my hood, by the way? Okay. Uh, Night Eyes is capable of flying at faster speeds to then even Ball can run. I know, I know, but I realize I just kind of left him. I'm gonna thank Night Eyes okay. for helping He's me. been following you. I get out of Agnes's lap and I saw of sit in the seat next to her. Passenger. Enough room. Passenger seat. Well, it, it's a sort of He's bench. sat in a ghost. It's, it's sort of a bench to which Agnes was sat relatively to the right. Uh, so... You kind of, you're not entirely sure why you ended up in her lap, but you kind of shuffled to the left and uh, settled down onto the uh, bench. To which Jam has a point, not that you can see, but there now is a somewhat horrified ghost looking at his torso. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, you never get used to this. You might want to move. Oh shit! Not you, sir, no. 
Um, uh, okay. Ah. By the way, this goes for you, Bor, as well. I may have met someone who also knows of your Todd. Shit. Oh, no. You, again, as you say this and look over your shoulder to look at Bor, you do just see two legs sticking out of the chest. <laughs> Ignore the bugbear um... and its first. I would ask why you're in there, but to be honest, that's probably the first time that thing has got any use. <laughs> no. <laughs> we may have a new companion. He knows of this Todd. What? Although of how much use he'll be, I do not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never said it was the same Todd. Could be, though. Be cool if it was, wouldn't it? Ooh, this is true. mystery, intrigue. Oh my mm. god, I love him. <laughs> Would mean finding out more about Bor and Cerno's story. Screw them. I want to know what I was like in life. <laughs> Who are you talking to? And to I look fair. around me. You see no one. When I told you guys to leave the tavern earlier, and I left by myself, there was someone else in the tavern. There was? Now don't ask me how. Because I do not know why. But apparently there is a ghost now travelling with us. Insight well, check from the chair. He thinks he's dead. We, we fought ghosts. We... You, oh, no, did, man. Did, did you say ghosts? Yeah, we, we've we actually fought ghosts. So, it's yeah, but still, what it check. seems to be. No it's one not one of those seen. scary ones, is it? Actually, no, you haven't fought a ghost. We fought, well, we fought a race. Yes, we did. Uh, yes, we did. Mm. Which is... Almost you have not different. fought the creature, ghost. You have four ghostly apparitions, but you haven't actually fought a actual ghost. Maybe it's been technical. <laughs> Pedantics. Well, yeah. still. Y you've, you've fought undead spirits, though. Shush, yeah. okay. <laughs> I wouldn't Very angry say gnome he was... Apple. I wouldn't say he was scary. Though... Ooh. He has many features. Not Todd. Not Todd. This guy. I'm confused. His name? Well, he doesn't really know, though he has come up with the name Dayron. <laughs> Dice, that... Dayron, sorry, I can't see you. Dayron doesn't mean anything to you, Serna, or does it? Nope. Hmm. Actually, well, I'll try. Uh... Well, in... uh... Hmm. Which one of you has higher passive perception? Passive, passive perception. Mine is I 14. Have... Then... I have... Uh, where the fuck is mine? Oh, passive... passive does, yes, does, sorry. Uh, roll, 12. roll a great intelligence. Great intelligence? Alright. Uh, well, no, that did, that's not it. Intelligence? Wow, I've got... I'm, I'm doing okay tonight. <laughs> It definitely wasn't one of the names which was shouted out. But do you think you remember seeing maybe something like that written on a crate or two lying around? Um, it's, it, yes, it, it sounds familiar. I, actually, no, it doesn't sound familiar. It looks familiar, though. You've that, seen that thing? Yeah. Yeah, I have. A blonde point, human point. humanoid. No, is what he seems luscious to locks, beauty to behold. No, <laughs> very Wood. vain. Square. Hey, that's not what I said. Boxy. Written on a box, right? Crate, technically, but crates are boxes, it. right? Hmm. He seems to remember being stabbed in the neck. But who knows if that was his death? I do. And something to do. With well, it shit. certainly wasn't something I did for pleasure. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into that. Uh, uh, and something to do with a ship. I'm guessing that wasn't part of uh, your oh, running. Yeah, water. That's great stuff. Um, I don't. I don't remember a ship. 
Do I? Nothing to do with a ship comes mm -hmm. to your mind, son. Oh. Uh, Was the group by any water? No, Directly on the coast. Didn't had happened near water, I don't believe. Do I recall any of this that I've missed? Uh, you don't recall the name because what? Cerno literally just noticed it on a crate whilst you were causing chaos. Uh, okay. You weren't near water when this happened. And as far as you recall, there wasn't a blonde individual. No. Okay. No blonde people. Um, and no, no ships or anything like that. Is no one going to talk about the literal furry legs sticking out of this chest back here? <laughs> well, I guess you may have no memory of them. And I'm sure he would have told me if he recognized you. Can I, I try that. to like, put my legs all the way in by curling up to the fetal position? Roll another Ariel, dex check. He? Ariel has been trying to decorate Boar's legs with makeup and stuff Seven like that, feet. and is giving his legs a makeover. Well, Boar, as you reshuffle your position and actually manage to take your legs in quite well this time, uh, you notice that the fur on them has been plaited. <laughs> into a lot that of some, plaits. That's yeah. some tiny plait. What is? He's quite what? shaggy. Boar is quite shaggy in his fur, and it's been that's plaited. That's still some tiny plaits. Oh, it is. There's there's very small plaits, but it has what been done. Is? Hmm? Well, so no, this Daron is currently. Well, you're in his stomach, which is why I told him he should move. I, I, I look uh, down and I start patting my body. He he is now floating somewhat near the chest, just looking in. And he seems to have taken some interest in Boar hiding in the chest. I look behind. I still I don't see anything. Hiding. You do not you see anything. Well, you don't see anything. Uh, he cannot interact with you. I, he does not know how long he's been dead. But he can hear and see everything that goes on. Okay. Hmm? Agnes? Hmm? Have you been smoking shrooms? <laughs> Why? Do not trust me. Why? Do you have some? No, uh... It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... It seems... <laughs> It's just a little hard to swallow. You know? Like ghosts that... Why is he swallowing say... whilst he's smoking? I will say I was very confused at the beginning, and to be honest, I'm still rather confused. Whether he's actually dead or not, I don't know. If he is dead, then why is he the only one and the first I have seen? I do not know. And for that matter, uh... why can I see him? And no one else. Woohoo! She's crazy! Woohoo! Um, oh, Why are you poor making okay. pigeon noises? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, uh, the essentially head flop into the cart may have dealt some brain damage. Uh, oh, my Do I need to minus my intelligence by one? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I am telling you all this in faith that you will believe me. Um, then again... Well, considering that... Well, considering that we actually have thought something that looked like a ghost, I kind of believe you. I can just about understand what you said. Well, you know what? I'm in a test, I'm scared, and I'm not fucking coming out. That Speaking me. of, you're... You've it's almost it. made it fully around Maple Tide at this point. I quickly oh, yeah. summon. Just on the road, just I quickly uh, summon my hawk spirit to fly along the cart. Well, in a small flash of light, your hawk spirit is casually alongside it. Agnes, you hear? Yeah. Oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. Hello <laughs> there, hawky. May I ask Says the why hawk you reacts, them? and I then ask, "Can you see whatever she's talking about?" The hawk seems to shake its head. Yes uh, or no? no? Shake is no. Nod is yes. Oh, there you oh, go. Okay. So you don't see you. any ghosts 
shadowy people? I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? The road. Smoke. Shadow. Bigger. Anything that she said? It seems to shake its head. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so then. the guy that you ran into ended up having some books about botany and other things like that. Botany? <laughs> um, botany. Uh, oh, that's a Oh. I'm sure that there's nothing to worry about at all. The people I'm dead, and I can tell he's aren't. lying. <laughs> <laughs> The people oh, no. you're running from aren't involved in herbal situations, are they? Uh, not that I remember. Do I remember? Yeah, I was about to say, do I remember too? There was nothing herbal that you could think of. Basically, although... so what I'm asking, did I get high with these people? No. <laughs> so what you what you guys did was essentially you came across this essentially fighting ring where they pit people up against uh, some exotic, some not so exotic beasts and creatures. If you really want to know which ones they were, me and Comet made a list of them, Ninja. I think you were at work or sleeping or something. Probably. But, um... So they... You essentially came across this. Sono wasn't very happy with essentially animals being trapped in cages and so you two broke them out which led to a lot of confusion some stampeding animals and one or two dead people who may have been running it they deserved it and yeah. then you ran as they literally were shouting curses and threatening to hunt you down hashtag medieval Peter <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Peter rescued. I don't. Know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Baby, hold on. I don't remember what Peter does. Actually, what? Peter does some fucked up shit. It does some fucked up shit. Yeah, but I think they free animals. Hey. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, still. Was this person you ran from chasing you? Nope. No. Well, actually, Why? we didn't stay to find out. One of them was a bit too busy Why dealing with being eaten by a hippo. Running from. Well, this is referring to the person in town they literally just ran from. Well, uh, him. I didn't want to go to jail, so I ran. Um, we, well, we we ran pretty damn him. quickly, but he did as well, actually. Uh, he I mean, ran I don't know. from you. Ninja, I cannot understand you when you're doing I'm, that. I'm in the chest. Yeah, but I can't understand what you're saying. No, oh, okay. Keep doing it. But it, it, it it's role so playing. I just can't understand him either. Oh, I'm sorry. True. Role playing. Um. <laughs> so why would he be running from you? Why would I know? Yeah, we don't really know. Surely you would, if you recognize this guy. And you know the events that happened before. You should know why he would be running from you. I don't know. No. Hon honest, no. Honestly, if we did run in, the fact we ran into someone and they didn't immediately try to kill us is a bit surprising, to be honest. Actually, that's a good thing. Is no one going to address the cat in the cart of the bear in a box? I. <laughs> <laughs> That is At a good point, point Bull. I open the lid. But I surprising open the, nonetheless. I open the lid and just sit there. <laughs> so we don't have to keep sounding muffled. I just open the door and just... <laughs> the lid of the chest opens as a bugbear head sticks out. Oh yeah, probably the only thing that's in that chest is the drow elf skull. Oh, and a bugbear. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and the... <laughs> no, what I do... <laughs> As I lift the skull up and I make it talk for me. <laughs> Agnes is not looking back at all because she's 
on the reins. <laughs> and I, I can I attempt to make that crackling, no that evil laugh that the skull was making? Make a performance check. <laughs> I don't think I have anything for performance. I have nothing. <laughs> That'll be a ten. Oh, well, Boar cackles, and it sends somewhat things <laughs> down one of two of your spines as you recall similar cackling and explosions uh. quickly followed. Wait, you said it. We reacted to it. Uh, it sounds somewhat familiar, and you remember ca the cackling, and you remember the explosions followed after the cackling, but it's not the same cackling. Uh. I was going to say, do we react to it as in we can are triggered to react to it? It's not the same cackling, but it reminds you of the cackling. Take, okay. Act as you wish. I find a cowboy hat and say, howdy, I'm Woody. Hey, howdy, hat. Anyways, no. <laughs> How heavy is the lid of the thing? Uh, it's pretty solid wood. Can I use Mage Hand to shove it again? Oh, yeah. Slam. <laughs> uh, Boar, your hand kind of gets caught as the... Ah! <laughs> do I have a grip on the skull and do I have it back with me? You still have a grip on the skull, <laughs> but it's now a hand holding a skull sticking out with the lid resting on top. Zerno's <laughs> <laughs> laughing. Well, I open the thing a little bit and bring the skull back. He was running you. from you. I don't see why you were running so eagerly to get away from him. It's a shame I can't eat popcorn. Great at this moment. <laughs> well, well, you know, maybe he was running away because he didn't want to fight us one on one. Maybe he was going to get the rest of his pals. Seven Gal and Agnes fight. did notice the fear in his eyes. Agnes? I'm sorry, Arsene. Seven Gal and Arsene. He was, they don't, I think he was kind of scared of you guys, to be honest. Really if you guys did the good deed in this situation before, why was he scared of you? I'm, well, I, I poked the skull out a little bit. Well, Maybe, um, he saw his friends get eaten alive. There were a few, you know, angry animals. Rightly angry animals, but angry Very animals. rightly. I'm now just using and the skull to talk a little bit more. You but... instructed or released them to devour this group of people? Not intensely, we were just setting him free. He, he, that mm -hmm. wasn't the, the intention was actually to get in, let them out, and get out unseen. That was the intention. Unattent unintentional side effects of letting caged animals, which are slightly hungry, out near humans. Who have been treating them badly. Yeah. <laughs> well, to, to, to be honest, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to. At least I don't claim to be the good person when I'm being hunted for. We never said that we were the... Well, we never said that we were the good guys. I mean, people did die. It was just, you know... Yeah. Wanted to set them free, you know. That's... They deserved it. Well... Well, I mean, I think they did. They were horrible. They were keeping animals locked up in cages, and they oh. were literally making them fight people and to the death. So. He does realize he's saying that whilst he's a bear in a box. While holding they the skull and making it, it and I don't think I can pass judgment. It's even worse. Well, we didn't know them that much. All we could really go on was our impression of them. And personally, those animals deserve to be free. First impressions can make a lot of difference. It's the years that cause the pain. We're talking about me, right? How long do you think those animals have been kept in a cage and abused? 
Um, Probably a while. Long uh, while. It, it exactly. It depends. It, well, you know, uh, they were they were probably there for a while. Uh, it depends. Some of them may have. Some of them were pretty damn exotic. I don't even know if you could find some of them on this continent. Then surely they deserve to get their revenge on those people. And at this point, I've opened the lid again, and I'm now just sitting there with the skull next to me. Like, resting his head on the uh, chest as well. I forgot what the point of this conversation was. To discover why the hell you were running and bolting out of this town. Oh, right, yeah. Speaking of, you've now finished rounding it, and you're back on the main coastal road heading away from Maple Tide. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, maybe time's behind us, so let's get on, let's get underway. To save people! Woo! I think more to punish yeah. those who deserve it, but I'm sure those two plans could interlude. I hope not. I hope we don't have to run into any of them again. That, that would be nice. Run into more people who deserve to die? More or less run into people who want to kill us. That would be nice. But that's... Dill doesn't say no to what I suggested. That, 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 it, that it was. We're out of that city now. We can so... come to an arrangement. Mm, yes. Yeah. You're out of that city where your name and ability to find you is... Well... Just mine. Be accessed. Just mine. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, Agnes has no clue any of that happened. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna lie down for a bit, actually, and I hop into the back of the car and. <gasps> yeah. Damn! I'm just kidding. I got. I don't breathe. I... <laughs> I fluff up my bag and I sort of just lean on it like a pillow and just close my eyes. Don't breathe, then a poison spray won't do you any harm. That's a shame. You know, um, the chest is actually kind of comfortable and I get out of the chest at this point. The you... chest would make a coffin for Cerno. Is the chest now covered in bugbear fur? Yes. I don't shed. Yes, you do. Shut up. <laughs> I, I keep, no, boy keeps himself well-groomed. There's still one or two uh, hairs which are clinging to the inside of the chest. The chest is 12 cubic feet. So, Boar was, like, hunched up in it. No, Boar was laying on his back, like, curled up in a ball. So, Cerno could theoretically... Sleep in that. Kind of comfortably, Easily, I would say. Easily, yeah. Yeah, screw it. I put my bag into the um, thing, fluff it up like a pillow, and I ugh, uh, get comfy. The drow skull, skull still in there? No, I have it. I I grab the top of the lid and go, this isn't going to lock if I close it, right? I haven't tested someone being in there before. I'm going to leave it, it didn't open, lock on me. It didn't lock on me. I leave it open. And have my nap. When Cerno's right. like very asleep, I'm going to set the skull, um, right next to him, like on his chest, looking at him. Ah, oh, <laughs> you. All right. Well, me, uh, you continue on your journey uh, along the coast road, apparently leaving Maple uh, Maple Tide well behind. Maple Tide. Uh, can we say that's a short rest, just so I get that spirit totem back? <laughs> yes, you sleeping in a chest will act as a short rest. Thank you. Uh, See, I? either that was going to go two ways, because I thought on the way to drive home, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to punch him straight in the face. I'm just going to punch someone just straight in the face, because I had a feeling like, oh, someone from Boy and Sonos Pass are going to show up. I'm just going to punch him in the face. No, we're in public. Two, run away. <laughs> Thank you for not just punching them square in the face. <laughs> well, it would have been a headbutt, but yeah. Yes, Abby. No, uh, sorry. Um, can I like, can I seem like 
move up to the front of the car and I'll sit next to that so I can just be like, hey, so uh, can I can I try something? Night eyes and day run, because night eyes can, you know, he's telepathic. And I'm curious if this is physically possible. Physically Where possible is to do what? For night eyes to telepathically communicate with Dayron, despite oh, I don't think I can see him. I'm sorry, I don't know where you are, Dayron. See if night eyes can. I don't know. I, I don't just... see why not. Curious to, to try. Dayron can actually hear what everything you say. You don't need oh. to talk through me. Oh, I mean, just you know, like because then I don't know. I was just curious. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Where he hasn't he? said no. Oh, where is he? Sorry, Dayron, I can't see you. Um, you you have kind of as you lean forwards to be able to speak with Agnes. Agnes, you turn to see Darcine just to see essentially her head poking through his chest. To which point he's just kind of tapping on her horns. He is exactly. He's right next to you. Hey, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll just get my eyes out of my hood. Okay. <gasps> uh, no idea where to go from this. My eyes. Just as I know, share like. Someone drunk a dragon! How cute! <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, share how you're feeling. Dayron's right here. So, like. Night Eyes Motion looks push. very confused at you. Don't worry about it. Just give it a go. See what happens. Night he kind of tilts eyes. his head. Uh, uh, you know how like you can reach out to my mind and my friend's minds? Well, what if we have like a friend in front of us who's invisible? You get a feeling of emptiness in your head, Arsene. Hmm. I wish that was a more it? common thing. As in, Night Eyes is essentially telling you there is nothing. Right. Huh. Well, I tried. We tried. I thought it'd be interesting to find out. Um, wait, um... I don't actually understand how Night Eyes' telepathy works, but... Isn't possession a thing? Is that Bo saying it? Yeah, this is Bo saying it. I do not under... I don't know. Dayron, can you possess something or someone? I tried to possess a teapot. Didn't go too well. <laughs> Did it move or react at all? Noob. Shame. It's really going to scare them. You know, ooh, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Tea have going everywhere tried... would have made a great party. Have you tried possessing a living thing? Well, the amount of people who've walked through me it doesn't seem to do anything. It's slightly different than possession, I would assume. Would you also know how to do this whole possessing thing? No. Why yeah, don't you attempt on the bear? But wait, uh, what? okay. He just kind of continues to sit there. So, great weather we're having, hey? I don't think it worked. It doesn't seem as if possession is a thing. Well, or in his state, at least. I mean, you can't go easy at everything, I guess. So at this point, we all assume, some of us assume, she's just gone batshit crazy at this point. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Sono, in the fact that she has said a word which he remembers. Yeah. In relation to this Todd. Yeah. You assume I'm bad. You already know that. No, 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 no. This was out of character. I know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you're showing it on your face. Somehow. 
No, I'm more focused on uh, reading the Storm Stormbreaker book at this point. I've probably read it like twice already, but... And Cerno's still napping. With the skull gently on his chest. What's the cat doing? The cat's B where B, so... Uh, I'm gonna say the cat is plaiting Boar's fur again as he's reading. What is plaiting? I don't know what that is. Braiding. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that was. Huh. Not a British term. Uh, plait is English. Plate is Scottish. Um... Yes, I'm just plating my hair. Clink, clink, clink. <laughs> you think I'm joking? That's literally what the heck, what they called it. I'm just like staring at them the whole time. They're like, oh, nice plates in your hair. And I'm just like, looking, I'm just like what the f- <laughs> what? Yes, I'm a walking dinner table. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, Paul's just reading his book at this point. Because there's not really much else to do. So huh? I'm guessing that there's no sign on your faces that you think Agnes is mad. I mean, to be fair, boy somewhat believes you due to the fact that anything's possible and we did fight a ghost-like entity. Sano's a little skeptical, as you would be. And... But um, the fact that you brought up something that you shouldn't have known that he sort of barely remembers but can now recall has sort of shifted him to... Yeah, possibly. What about our scene? Arsene doesn't, that's not really mean, but Arsene doesn't care either way. She's, 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 just, she's just going with it. They're just going with it. Alright. Uh oh, it's the cat. Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. Night Eyes can see people's minds. Can he see through mine? Does he a vision of this spirit? Oh! That's a very good thought. Night eyes. Hey, well, let's give this a go. Let's hold them out again. <laughs> to get him to telepathically communicate with Agnes. Uh. <laughs> mm. Poor night eyes. I'm not being specific. <laughs> I think we just pulled a trick that Sal wasn't expecting. Yeah, I th I'm thinking the same <laughs> damn thing, honestly. I'm trying, I'm thinking, hmm. Thinking if it because, would work? Because yeah. the way, yeah, I've, I thought about this too, but then I thought to myself, I thought Night Eyes was only able to send. I didn't think he could read, though. He can so initiate. Pseudo Dragon can magically communicate simple ideas, emotions, and Images telepathically with any creature within a hundred feet that it can understand a la uh, of it that can understand a language. Now I've allowed this as our scene being able to talk back to him, partly because I would say he could kind of um, register her, um, you know, like thinking of some. Uh, of like words or commands for him mm -hmm. to do, and he's sort of used to obeying them. I'm. Hmm. It's whether he can communicate with you, you guys. You know what? As well. Roll a uh, Agnes. Roll a charisma. And Night Eyes roll a intelligence. Charisma check. Ooh, we have the yes, same intelligence. Check. Night Eyes got a six. We're as smart as each other. Mm -hmm. I hate autocorrect. Uh, well, Agnes, you uh, you focus quite vividly on this shadowy being who's kind of just hanging around in the passenger sheet, uh, seat. Uh, Night Eyes, he sort of sits there, cocks his head, and then after about a minute or so, turns to you, Arsene, you get a strong sense of night eyes believing, Agnes? But you don't... He isn't really able to transmit what he saw to you. Oh, okay, so he, he believes... 
he picked up the Agnes. So from what you can tell, can from see. what he was able to tell from Agnes, he personally believes her. Sweet. However, he can't tell you what essentially she told him for him to believe it. Oh, okay. All right, I get that, I get that. Uh, I will explain that out loud as best as I can. No words. So, well, so Night Eyes believes you because he can believe that you believe, he can feel that you believe yourself and have seen. Oh, God, this is so confusing. Not to me. Okay. I think you I understand. It's somewhat that you comforting. That you see something. Right? Is that how we're going to phrase mm, it? Yeah, I think so. God. It is somewhat comforting to know that someone believes me, I suppose. I mean, I he believe you. He's tiny dragon saw me. He knows that I saw something. Hi. Well, I mean, Hi. to be fair, I, Agnes, I, I fully believe you. I doubt you a bit on this, but I believe you. Because half the shit we've seen, I believe. I mean, a fucking... <laughs> Skull! Oh god, don't remind me. Hmm. We fought a ghost type a thing. A witch of a woman that is wanted, apparently, <laughs> all over the country, that she sees a ghost. Hmm. Um, yeah, you haven't really given me a reason to not believe you. You're my friend, after all, even though you are a bitch, but... <laughs> I will ignore one part of that. Oh, I still have the Gnome Wraith's diary. Remember that guy? Remember him. Uh, the diary. Sir, no, I, I've got it in my no, inventory. No. Uh, I don't know if you have it in yours. The, the, the diary? Carry the... Yeah, I've got the, uh, um... The Gnome Diary, the Gnome Infernal Diary. Oh, I thought I had it because I was the only one that could read it. Ah, all right, then I'll take it out of mine, then. Yeah, okay. I've been stealing have... pages from it in order to write things, so. <laughs> 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 Didn't build up paper. But uh, yeah, I believe you. Just half the shit I've seen. That when we were in that cave, there was a giant um weird creature that called me its master. That is hard to believe. Yeah, Someone I considers did. you a master. I know. Yeah. Like, 100%. I'm, I'll, I'll ignore that. <laughs> but, I, I put on the crown and I look at her with, like, a sly shut up, Mike. Um, Agnes isn't looking at you, she's looking at the road. She is a responsible well, driver. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! That feels like a you jab as well. Long. I. That's a jab to both was... Cerno was... and Ninja. Yes, okay, <laughs> because I was sitting there, traffic was legit stopped! Anyways. Anyways. Boy's giving that little smile and saying it was a weird creature calling me master and then I somehow made it believe me and it poofed. And who knows if it will really come back to you. Get, uh, yeah, that's... Hey, that I seems kind of familiar. Up. Wait, I don't hear this. That? You don't hear that. This. Agnes does. I know. This is what worries me. I mean, that Wait, doesn't what was worry that? me at all. Was familiar. That. And you sort of follow his ghostly arm pointing, and you notice sort of just over a brow of a hill, there appears to be the tip of another sort of column of some sort of stone. A stone in the road. Over a hill, not on the road, and it appears to be black. Ooh. Cerno's pillar. Can 
I'm guessing the cart can't get over to it. Uh, you could probably take the cart over there, but it would significantly... Uh, you'd slow down significantly, and you'd have to be careful of uh, holes and hidden rocks. I... But you could you could probably make it over there. I pull the cart over to the side of the road. I Don't think I we need to take stop. a walk. Uh, uh, yes, I would say the jolting and taking it off of the road bumps sort of throw you around and you end up headbutting something kind of hard. Ow! But Ow. isn't wood. Mm. Oh. <sighs> oh, but it isn't wood? Uh, did I hit my head? Uh... I put something hard in my bag. As you sort of open your eyes and blink the blurriness, there's a, just a skull just kind of resting right next to your head. <laughs> oh, I think someone just walked over my grave. <laughs> no, that I can tell you is not your skull. I met the person that was... You carry someone's skull? I'm not sure whether to be impressed or disgusted. I also carry their ears. Is there a problem? No, new best friend. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> I love this fucking character. Anyway. If anyone wishes to say for the cart, I wish to go for a walk. They're boring, I, I think the small one's hyperventilating. <laughs> Uh, we'll leave Cerno behind. Yeah. <laughs> no. Bring Cerno. You guys may recognize. What? Cerno. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you okay? <laughs> Fuck you. What do you mean? I'm not with you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try not to laugh? <laughs> Roll a constitution check? Agnes is already getting off the car and starting, starting to walk towards it. Roll the 20 constitution check? Yes. Constitution is a plus one. It's an eight. Well, you're not mm. laughing, but you can't help but snigger every now and then. <sighs> Ugh. Put the skull on the opposite side to where my head was. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. Agnes, you dismount. You stopped. As you're making your way, we gotta away follow from the her. Car, and I point to her. The ghostly oh. figure oh. is walking along beside you that only you can see. Um, I see the pillar, right? Hmm. Uh, make a perception check. I'm going to leave the night eyes behind in the cart and tell them to just guard it. We're just over there. Guard. <laughs> so now, as you're still rubbing your head and forcing all your eyes to focus, you do notice what appears to be a column or top of a column of some stone to do, which do the I general notice? direction Agnes is walking in. Why am I getting flashbacks? Oh, boy. Okay. I'm up. I sort of uh, tap my cheeks a little. I'm awake. Let's go. I hop out of the cart. I do the same. Making sure to take, like, my weapons and things with me. Because <laughs> I've left Day my run. bag in my... What do you truck. remember of this pillar? It just seems familiar. It's got kind of a friendly atmospheric draw to it. I don't friendly like to be you. Me. If you were an enemy of Sun and Ball, that may not be friendly to us. Uh, I don't... I don't really recall it, but it just feels familiar, you know? Like a comfy them. bed. Just familiar, snug, and comfortable. He's actually the Tyrannosaurus. Looking over the hill, is it... Like uh, part of it buried, and it's just the top that's sticking out of the ground. Well, as as you reach the crest of the hill, uh, you realise that the reason why you only saw part of it is because it is actually at its base is at the bottom of the hill, and it is quite a towering obelisk of obsidian. Uh, this one is significantly what? more chipped. It is definitely not cylindrical anymore, uh, but 
parts of it is very smooth, shiny, but there is, seems to be an awful lot of weathering has happened to it. What Although, shape? No. Is it or what it was? It is. It would essentially be a cylinder pillar, but it's just chipped and weathered, and it's now just more sort of. <laughs> well, it's still a pillar, and it's still somewhat cylindrical. It's just no mm. longer a smooth sort of surface all the way around. It's very damaged, weathered. Boar, boar's catch up. Uh, Does Boar remember anything? No. Cerno so, wouldn't notice, but I'm asking as a comet. Is this? Does this look like the thing that uh, Agnes had a dream about one time? I feel like I remember. That's what I thought it thing. was. But it's made of the same material. It, so material. it's obsidian, and it looks somewhat f similar to the heart which you saw in your dream in its, uh, well, in its color and sort of texture, and it being the same material. But it's a di very different shape. Very different shape, it, but it's not heart shaped. It is very much like the pillar you. Sh uh, it's mm. very much like the pillar which Sano touched, and you got transported, and had to fight a, um, trike. Except it seems a lot more weathered. And, and it's black, uh, actually, not white. And yes, and Sano, you do also notice being a druid that, in about a thirty foot radius the grass starts to wilt getting close to it uh and then it's just dirt to which it stands on you really want to touch it and that is just, is it like is it that's different to what i remember the grass being around the other pillar the grass around the other pillar was well the pillar was overgrown yeah so who wants to poke it me. Me. <laughs> Who can Me and I go running off is? to poke it. <laughs> Who can detect what it is? I can detect, uh, detect um, I can check and identify. <laughs> what do you guys do? I go run up and I poke it. <laughs> well, war <laughs> goes running down the hill. You see him run into the circle and you see him just go and Give it a great big hug, and you see the pillar wobble ever so slightly. Be careful, boar! Oh. I would step away from that. I let go, <laughs> and gently walk backwards. Anyone else getting, you know, deja vu? Oh, yeah. Girl goes up to it and ritually taps identify on it. Well, Seven Girl goes up more and sits think, down and I starts drawing in runes into the dirt. Is everyone else still sat on the hill? Um, no, I'm going down. Seven Girl. I'll go down and I'll take a look I'm around walking the towards area. It slowly. Trying to keep an eye on Aeron and what the hell he's doing. Alright. So, Sano, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sort of taking a sort of look around the general area. Um, uh, perception check? Arsene, what are you doing? I went down with Seven Girl, and I now just stood behind her as she's writing all these rooms in. Alright, so you just stood looking over. So, uh, keeping an eye on Dayron, you and him are the last to make it down. And he seems just to be sort of Staring at the pillar, just slowly drifting forwards. He does seem to do the occasional sort of movement, of, but he isn't always, and he is just partly drifting. And he just slowly drifts closer and closer. You step over the grass line uh, as the grass wilts and fades, and you're now stood on the dirt, sort of glancing around as the cat is... Chanting strange things, drawing strange runes. Dayron. Yeah. Why are you drawn to this thing? I don't know. Can you walk backwards? Hmm? Can you step away from it? Sure. And he starts to float backwards. Hmm. Uh, Sano, what what exactly are you looking for? Uh, anything interesting. 
Uh, well, you look around, the uh, circle seems to be almost perfectly circular around the uh, obelisk. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything in the form of like an altar like last time or familiar pillars. But as you sort of round the side, you look at Agnes and floating next to her is this hideous mass of smoke twisting and writhing. Um. Uh. Agnes. What's that name? Where's uh? What's his name? Right now. Daron. He yeah. stood right next to me. You know, it'd be so convenient if they could actually hear me. Do I hear that? Do we all hear this? Cerno, you hear it. Um. Uh, hi, Dara. Dara, I'm Sano. Speak. It's a bit lost for words. This one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's that, because I see you. Towards the do wait what? <laughs> he starts floating towards the pillar, and as you say that, he kind of turns, stares at you. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not the only one to see you now. You were actually. Can I just you were. You were, you were. You were actually serious. Okay. Yeah. I. I sort of believed you, but um. Uh. 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 uh I'm watching I'm this. Go and I'm this so direction. Lost. Yes, you do also see a giant floating, writhing cloud of smoke and shadow. <laughs> Can I attempt to throw my axe through the shadow? Um. Sure. Okay, Roll an okay, attack. Okay, 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 okay. This pillar seems to be connected to you somehow. Eight. <laughs> An axe lands right in front of you, Sano. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't me. Wasn't... Oh. Four. Okay. okay. <clears throat> no. He's trying to kill me. Again. Yes, I was saying if I could. Why? What have I ever done to you? Wait, did you just you're say again? You're black mass. Well, you're a bunch of brown fur <laughs> in a very tacky <laughs> waistcoat. Hey, did and you just say again? Right. Yes. When has he tried to Wait, kill you before? Kill you. Yeah, when? He hasn't tried to kill me. You just well, said he tried to kill yeah, me again. He's already dead. Yeah, yes. He just tried to re-kill me. Yeah, I, that's. I As think he's that's already what it was. dead. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I'm I, already I, dead. I'd be dying again. I pick up the axe mm, and I just slowly matter. put my hand through, through him and make sure I'm not like going insane. Your hand just passes straight through him. Oh boy. That's really cool. I'm just gonna go back towards the sun. Um, and with that, he starts floating towards the pillar. Is that the Wait, best oh. idea? Oh dear, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. Wait, hold on. This isn't good. Game on, before, before you poke it. Mm hmm. His hand is hovering about centimeters away from the pillar at this point, kind of floating okay. above Savangal. I look over to Savangal and I see him. Are you seeing this? Uh, I'll... Hearing the commotion, I'll head over, I guess. Curious. You do see a floating, writhing mass of black cloud floating above Savangal, and so does Savangal. Uh, uh, but before you touch it, can... I suggest we all leave a circle. Nah! Oh, my God, no. Oh, oh boy. God. I enough, I was done ritually casting. <laughs> Not been ten minutes, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so he did that. What happened? So, as you watch this writhing load of shadows slam what you assume must be its hand onto the obelisk, you do get a very strong sense of deja vu. Although, instead of a blinding white light, this time dark mist emanates and quickly wraps out 
and whirls around the obelisk, going to the about 30 feet radius of dirt. Is there enough and time to react blanket. and run? Yeah, is there enough time to run? Or is it that quick? Uh, well, you were stood relatively into the circle. Uh, you can make a dexterity check if you want. I'm going to make a dexterity check. Uh, Seven Gal and Arsene are quite close to the center, so they're not. I'm... Uh, so I know you're somewhat <laughs> paralyzed in fear and confusion. I'm guessing Agnes wouldn't have... Dexterity um... check? Yeah. Three fifteen. Uh, Ninja or is able to kind of realize what's happening and dive and just as you get past this uh, dirt grass barrier zone the, fo- uh, the darkness just emanates around and as you look back it just seems to be a semi-sphere of darkness where your friends were once stood fuck that was a bad idea and I run and do a flying leap in back in because I don't want to leave my friends behind well as you start to pick Wait. yourself and dust off the sphere fades and the pillar remains god damn it <laughs> and I walk over to the cart and go fucking grab night eyes. <laughs> the carts, the carts are fair distance away. You have to walk up a hill and back down. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go sit in the fucking cart. With are night we still eyes there? Because I don't get to fucking beat you I'm up. Talking with night eyes. Still, everyone else, your vision suddenly comes back to you. <laughs> God damn it! And where you're stood is now on barren stone. You glance around. Oh, the sky is dark. Feet. There are no stars. There is no moon. There is no sun. You glance Ooh. further around. The horizon is filled with spiked mountains, jagged rocks, no greenery, no shrubbery. Thor is honestly pissed off at this point, and he's like does... kicking every fucking grass he sees, just punching it. Does Agnes trigger anything with Agnes? This feels familiar, Agnes. In fact, you feel revitalized. Do I see any sign of Daron or similar? You actually do see a very human with blonde hair, quite long, in a more naturally ghostly form, faded color. His features are now make uh, are now uh, you're now able to make out his features, still floating with his hand just resting on. The obelisk. I don't recognize him. No. Stay wrong, where are we? Make a... uh, a, hmm, Make a perception check. Uh, We see this as well, right? Yes, you you also see him. He is no longer driving smoke. Do I recognize him? No. Right. Although, make a perception check as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I, I'm boy. sitting in the cart with Night Eyes, and I'm explaining what the fuck just happened, <laughs> and now he's, like, literally sulking a little bit because he doesn't get to go fight shit, like last time. Uh, Seven Gal, by the way, you are still ritually casting this spell. This hasn't actually interrupted that. <laughs> <laughs> Identify the still- world! You are still casting. Um, not that you notice this, Agnes, but Cerno, you notice the robes he's wearing? There's a familiar symbol on them. Familiar to you in that when you freed some of the animals, this symbol etched in a few places, and one or maybe on one or two people as tattoos. Aaron, where are we? I have no idea. Looks kind of ugly, if you ask me. Um, this doesn't bring anything back. This reminds you strongly of your dream, Agnes, and it feels familiar. Uh, I will land on my uh, shoulder. This this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Oh boy. Um. 
Uh, okay. If I look around, do I see any buildings? No, just jagged stone terrain. But you see, you're missing a bugbear. It seems to be somewhat familiar to where you were just standing. The hills are exaggerated. Small rocks have become giant spikes. We're not on a different plane, are we? I know where we are, but Agnes wouldn't, I don't think. If we are on a different plane, I'm not allowed to be here. <laughs> I was going to say the same damn thing. Oh god, I broke my promise. <laughs> At this point, Boar is now just sitting there petting Night Eyes, sharing food with him. He'd be like, I wanted to fight. I don't know why, but I recognize this place, and I don't know whether I liked it or not. Ooh. Kind of ghastly, isn't it? God, yeah. who would want to live here? Such a downer. Would, it would Avondale be um, know of this place from any of her stories that she picked up while on the road? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Make a. Hmm. <sighs> I guess make a arcana or history check. Um, 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 uh... <laughs> Natural twenty. Uh, yes, yes, she has. Uh, Seven girl, as you kind of glance up from your ritual casting of the spell, you take in your surroundings. You're no longer on the material plane anymore. Of course we're fucking not. Well, You're sat on the shadow fell. And it's not a good idea to stay here too long. Uh, okay. Uh, Seven go looks at all of that. Um, we're in the shadow fell. What? Mm. We're not allowed to be Does that name trigger anything with Agnes again? Um, Does it make sense? Like, oh yeah, of course we are. It feels, uh, I would say, uh, not entirely makes sense, but you realize that you sort of almost feel like your magic is bolstered. You feel the energy surging through. It feels very invigorating to be stood in this realm. How do we leave? I don't like this place. Well, I assume I just... And with that, Dayron picks his hand up, and the same black orb... What wraps out, and you find yourself blinking Ugh. in the sunlight once again oh, with a shadowy bright. figure. No, wait! Oh, that's bright. With his arms crossed. Oh, can we still see him? <sighs> oh. Yeah. Wait, as a ghost or just um? The... Can... As a shadowy figure. Oh, dear. Um, Did that uh, not trigger anything for you? Um, uh... about traveling, about shadow just... I mean, it feels familiar. Horrible, ghastly place. I wouldn't want to spend time there. What if someone was to go back? Would you take them? I wonder. Why would you want to go back? I agree. Why? I mean, it feels like part of me is there, but... I about to say, why... Why... I'd much rather keep my conscious here, thank you very much. Mm, very confused. What if why is this here? It's just normal there. Wait. What if I could answer questions? Damn it, I looked beautiful there? Oh, now I do want to touch the pillar again. <laughs> it looks more like a ghost than a mass of shadows, I suppose. No, it's fine. You can say it. I'm hideous. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. You're a pillar of smoke. I, I knew that. What? It's hideous. I don't think you're hideous. Not hideous. Who's not hideous? I'm not hideous. Because an idiot. he's only a pile of smoke. There isn't anything to define him with. Hideous. 
Has mm-hmm. Zavangel finally finished casting Identify? Yes. <laughs> After all of this time, Zavangel, you finally finished casting. Yay! Uh, the magics infused into this stone uh, remind you very strongly of the tree which you also happen to cast Identify on. Uh, it's very powerful. Wait, very question. difficult to comprehend. And uh, although having now been to the Shadowfell, you can make out uh, conjuration magics and uh, that of plane shifting, although it seems to be not truly transporting between planes. Neat question. For the location of the tree, was the dead side facing towards where this obelisk is and the not dead side facing towards the other obelisk? No. No. Interesting. The tree Mm -hmm. was what? It was located around here. Yeah. It was half and half. So I believe I said one was west, one was east. It says sort of on a slight northwest, southeast. I yeah, think. slightly. So, but um, well, actually, I guess technically the north, uh, 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 the northwest side would be was the dead side, and you are technically well. Uh, if the tree is there, you would be on the northwest side of it, and the pillar would be on the um. South east. So yeah, actually. Yeah. I was measuring it earlier out of curiosity. <laughs> yes, it was. Anyway. So Dayram, what if you could go back? What if it could answer the questions about who you were? Where do you go back? Well there was no one to ask questions. We could find people. You do realize that as soon as I lifted my hand off the pillow, we came back here, right? I'm not a taxi service. I'm not waiting around. Go traipsing off, getting yourself killed viciously by caves with teeth. Does anyone actually know what lives on that? Um, Seven Girl? You know those... Uh, you know when you were in that mine and there were those two-headed dogs? Yeah, they're native to the Shadowfell. The fuck? I tell them accordingly. The Ugh, two-headed dogs. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going back. I agree. I step way out of the circle. Yeah. Don't you find it slightly weird that we found those dogs right by the other others? Hmm. Uh, this by the other obelisk? What do you mean? The one that Tav wanted to The one by Trywar? No, that no? just, that, that mm-hmm. was way different. Thinking back on it, it may have actually taken us somewhere else, but I wouldn't have even thought about it at that point. I don't think it would have taken us to the. You do know of the. Sono does know of the Feywild. I have an idea, possibly, but without going back, I wouldn't know. Ooh, the long way. Yeah, and remember, I couldn't get through a second time, so. That's true. So, hmm. I don't know where it's. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, ooh, cool. Agnes, your hand reaches out and you touch the obelisk. Your vision begins to darken slightly. You feel, again, slightly empowered. It's, It's a nice feeling. Your worries seem to slide away. You're in control. She's fucking evil. Kill her, kill her, kill her. (laughs) <laughs> but you don't find yourself on the shadow. What happens if I take my hand off? The feelings slowly subside.
I don't know what it is. What time of day is it at this point? At uh, this point? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, it was a couple of hours running around Maple Tide. It was probably about midday by the time you finally got away from them. Probably about two, three. Okay, I'm just going to uh, sit here and wait and ponder. Seven Gull is going to go take a piece of paper and draw out what she saw of Dayron. <laughs> All right. I want to Agnes to cast something while the hand is on the thing, but I don't know what. Boy um, is now in the cart. He doesn't know anyone's back. He's now practicing ventriloquism with the skull. <laughs> okay. Is, very amused. is anyone in a five foot radius? I'm not uh, including Dayron, because Dayron's floating nearby. Uh, I'd say he's probably about ten feet away. I... With her hand on this obelisk, can she cast a sword first? She certainly may. And Please. expecting the shadowy swords to appear, she does so. You're slightly taken aback as the as you release the spell, though you feel flowing through you substantially more energy, and the number of swords that viciously whip around you seem to have almost doubled. I, do I remember what the spell was like before? Uh, yeah, you've seen her cast it a few times. And I now, and I've seen that it is now more vicious. The sh there are definitely a lot more shadowy blades. Hmm. If I look on the ground, is there any pieces of the obelisk that have fallen off? You said it was weathered. Um... Roll an investigation check. Sano, as you're sat there, you feel a familiar voice in your mind. This is what you must avoid. Uh... Sano nods. Agnes, you look around and you manage to find uh, one or two pebble-sized bits of obsidian they're relatively uh, weathered not quite pebbles somewhat sharp as you pick them up they seem to emanate somewhat but you don't feel the connection as much as if your hand was actually while uh, is... while this is all happening Sono asks in his head what about the book Hoping that is not our creation. Wait, hold on. He got a response that is our creation? That is not our creation. Okay. What should I do with it? <laughs> no reply. Agnes has, Agnes has a hammer and stake. Is there anywhere on the obelisk she can get a piece? <laughs> <laughs> She can try. She can certainly <laughs> try and ship a. You know what? I have a minus pick. I'm gonna help. Cerno's <laughs> oh, so going to look on in absolute terror. <laughs> look fun. If you won't take me there, I will take some of it with me. I, uh, uh, you know what? Ain't my pillar. Boys now. Yeah, the elder god you piss off, however, I am not gonna save you from. <laughs> and now that I'm out of Boy. the circle, can I see or hear him? You can still see him. Uh, hearing him is a bit difficult because you're like over 30 feet away. But yeah. You can still see him. Fuck, okay. now we can all see him. What do I need to roll? What do I need to roll? Um, let's make it strength checks from both of you. Oh, okay. Um, don't worry, I have a plus one. <laughs> Boy is now trying has a minus best. one. Was it minus to one? Was it more? Entertain Night Eyes as best as he can. It's minus one. Yeah. 
Agnes, you start trying to chip away and you're just kind of chipping off small, very small, almost nail sized fragments, very thin. And you just hear a. And as you look, and what Arsene is holding is about uh, getting close to a palm, large palm sized chunk of just this obsidian. And a pick in a her other hand. Where the hell are you carrying that? Uh, I mean, I am an archaeologist, you know. <laughs> you are? Been <laughs> training, I'm still learning a lot. Huh. Yeah. No, it's. As Agnes takes it, is it the same or. You take it, as you take it out of Arsene's hand, feel the connection. It's stronger than the pebbles which you found, but and it seems to have a connection to the shadow fell, but again, not quite the same as this pillar. Did I feel anything? You're beginning to get. You felt nothing, Carsine. You're beginning to get the feeling it might also be to do with just the volume of the pillar enabling such a strong. So size does matter. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. When it comes to bending reality, yes. <laughs> About to go I out. had to slip that in. <laughs> you do feel with the chunk that our scene took off, you are capable of slightly more than you were. Yeah. This will do, but I. <sighs> you sure you don't wish to go back? <laughs> uh, uh, I value my undeath. Not really. I I just want to be dead, but I don't want to be dead like ripped to shreds. Dead. I want to be dead like peaceful dead. Like, can we find where my body is? What? You know that might be a good start. What if your body is in the shadow realm? You seem to have more tangible essence about you when you were there. But then why would I be appearing here and stuck here unless I'm touching a weird, creepy obelisk thing? Also, I'm I'm going to step slightly further away. It doesn't look stable now. I think it's wobbling slightly. Miss Pickappy is, um... Yeah, well, if it snaps, it's not on me, all right? Yeah, it won't hurt you if it does. <laughs> We're coming I back, then. I thought of that. <laughs> I wish to know more. More what? Everything to do with this. It's dark, it's creepy, you don't want to live there. What's else to know? Who said I don't want to live there? Arr, did you see the ground? It looked like it was trying to bloody eat us. It Ooh, what? Sharp, pointy teeth. I am going to I now know what was start there. It was actually rather to... cold on my footsies. That was the lack of socks and shoes, I know what I, I felt while I was there. What are you doing, Ninja? Boar is now trying to imitate Agnes and her bittiness. <laughs> he is a skull. You know what? Roll a performance check. Because <laughs> I have nothing to it. You think you hit it right on. You look at Night Eyes and you notice that his wings are over his head. <laughs> uh, uh, um. As Seven Girl finished drawing um, her uh, drawing, um, Zeron. Uh, yes, yes, she has. It's a uh, all right interpretation, as best as what you could get in the midst of informing everyone what the shadow fell is and uh casting <laughs> uh casting a spell ritually and getting a look at a floating human being above you it's comparable mm. hey, i asked no days the stick to punching people not 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 <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Winkle shows Dayron her, um, her drawing of him. Uh, 
mean, pretty good. Didn't quite capture the true beauty that is me. I'll take it. So you do know. He what goes you look to like. grab it, and his hand just passes through. Ah, right, yeah. So you do know what you look like then. Well, now we got some. At least we now got to show people a portrait of you. At least to see if they know anything about you. How can you forget such a beautiful face? Does it have face? the? Uh, does it have the uh, tattoo or marking in it? Uh, it the mark. Uh, hmm. hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna roll perception check. Is Daylon still in the circle? Yes. Uh, there's a mark there. It doesn't look like the marking that you saw, however. Mm, okay. We done here? Yeah. For now. Well, I'm not going back, so... And Daylon starts floating back towards the cart. Do they still see him when he leaves the circle? Is it just you looking for this? I'm looking at him and trying to see if they can react to him still. I just ask, you know. <laughs> Is have anyone else paying attention to the wisps of smoke as it moves? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. I'm not paying attention to anything else. It he seems, as he gets further and further away from the pillar, he seems to fade slowly. By the time he is out of the circle of dead grass and dirt, you no longer see or can hear Dayron. Hmm. Can I? Can Agnes up... still see him? Agnes still can. Can I pick up another bit of the obelisk? Not, not the one I dropped off, one of the other bits that like, Agnes picked up and dropped or something, and like go take it over towards where I last saw Daylon just to see if that helps or anything. You carry it over, you don't see, hear, feel anything. Yes, I tried. It was thought. We can leave. Chuck it on the ground. <laughs> but I would wish to come back. We'll uh... make it out of where it is. Okay. Well, let's get underway. Over my dead body, preferably with. <laughs> if we find your dead body, we'll make sure. You don't hear that. Ah, oh, shit! Only, I forgot. Only Agnes can. I forgot. <laughs> okay, this I just like confirms my theory more and more. God damn it! <laughs> now Boar's just gonna think everyone's crazy. <laughs> And as you make your way back to the cart, unless there's anything else anyone wants. Nope. Agnes keeps this, the chipped off obsidian. I, I shall add an item to your inventory okay. later. Yeah. But unless there's anything else anyone wants to do, nope. then we shall call it a session. Oh, should have got her to cast in the shadow fell. Ooh, that would have been interesting. Should've mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Should've what? Sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Got Agnes to cast something in the shadow fell. Mm. But he took his hand off the freaking thing before she could say anything. <sighs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's not like you only did, I, I don't know, a quarter of a page compared to the three pages of shit which I had prepared. But no, that's you, fine, that's fine. You, mm. you, you kept going, gave but... Agnes a way to become more powerful and then took it away from her and expect me to move on. <laughs> <laughs> Found She's not going to be able to carry a massive off pillar around. Oh, she would have tried. I want to play more, damn it. Can we go a little bit longer? Or no? Uh, I'm I sure have you work can... tomorrow. If you... Nah, this is a nice sort of ending off point. Leave some intrigue. Mm -hmm. we have, yeah, uh, over. Damn we've it. been going for about uh, two and a bit hours. Uh, two mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Fine. 
Yeah, so I think we all enjoyed uh, today's thing. We haven't seen any combat recently. I just realised. No, that I know. Good. I have I combat. I more. have combat encounters queued up, but you guys just fucking avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> We're amazing. Right, sure. One of them's a dragon. <sighs> uh, yeah, he's queued up, but um. <laughs> yeah. no, no, there was there was there was quite a lot which you could have done in Maple Tide. White people in Maple Tide. Agnes wasn't going anywhere near that. Well, we could have stayed behind have and chased after the dude. We could have before. done a little investigating into the murder, but. Mm. I was still like good a master a job. <laughs> yeah, there was a job. You Good also have like an entire. You now have a name of something you have no other. Sorry, yeah, you were cutting out a bit. Some research. No, quite a few things which you could have done, which would have led to interesting stuff, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. Yep, but as we all know, the plans never survive the players. Players. I will say, I think it was either Bore or Salerno that said, Oh, we only need to stay one night, we're only leaving, we're moving on to Oxen Front. It was then Bore and Salerno who got freaked out and then scarpered the town and started the horses before anyone else could say anything. Yep. Basically, Bore and Salerno didn't want to save Maple Tide. <laughs> well, I mean, we have people to save as well. And Agnes wanted to stay in the Shadowfell, but no one wanted to go back. <laughs> I wanted to go with Shen, but you know, let's talk with you guys. <laughs> you do not have to tag along. They at least bide to a troop, at least. Seven girl knows where her troop is, though. Or I know, but, she, but then but she wanted to say bye to them before she left town. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is true. You did get rushed off of that as well. I didn't ask Shin where to leave information if I found anything out. Get that? No, she literally just told you to look into. Mm-hmm. Basically, we're all blaming Bor and Son. Yeah. No, at least they helped me a lot, so I can't. And we now also have stats for a corgi. Yeah. Yes. 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 The most important part. That was. Mm. Interesting, <laughs> to say the least. If, if you wanted to get a bit more technical with your editing comment, you could always stick that up. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> during your YouTube video. Yeah. By the way, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Dummies and Dice. I if need you to be. Haven't up in already started. Five hours. Like, cut off the stream. Yeah, if you haven't cut off the bottom thing. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Bye! Thank you. You see what I mean by, like, avoiding my plot hooks?